a weird DM. Hello? <laughs> Dream? Can you hear? Are they, can they hear me? Uh, yes. Oh, oh. Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you can hear us say Baba Booey or some shit, I don't know. What's up? Thank you for all the resubs. Um, also, a, a little quick channel update since I haven't streamed in a while. I'm not going to stream for a bit. Uh, we had a bit of a P.O. box debacle. A P.O. debacle, if you will. Um, and I'm not going to be streaming for probably the next week or so. Uh, and then I'm on vacation. Uh, so you may get one stream or two streams, depending on how I'm feeling, but I'm working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes to make sure that the debut goes off without a hitch. And I need that time to make sure that it's perfect. I'm talking to a lot of other VTubers. I'm talking to a lot of other companies. Um, and, uh, we're going to make sure this is perfect, but we will be streaming D and D every week as normal. Uh, so yeah, get excited. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the resubs. Um, you still get your sub, uh, perks in our discord. If you are, if you are resubbing, I really do appreciate that. That helps out a lot. Um, you, again, you still get your little alpha sneak peeks for the stuff that we're doing in the discord. I'll be posting another one. That's concept art from the comic here tonight after D and D, uh, if you want to see some of that, but, uh, we are going to do our pirate campaign. We're in the middle of a big fight. I think Nathaniel, right? Yeah. Like three of us are down. <laughs> Yeah, three of us have been downed. Uh, we're fighting one of the biggest bads, and uh, it ain't looking so hot. I put, I pulled off a fucking sick slow, though. You did. It was actually pretty fucking sick. <laughs> Can we get much higher? So high. Yeah, and uh, while I'm gone, they are going to have a... We're going to have a, uh, uh, a mod takeover of the stream, so everyone's going to be playing... Uh, Jackbox games, uh, various mods will be able to stream on my channel in lieu of me. Uh, so you'll get to know some members of the community a little bit more intimately. Um, but I think it's time for us to go and join the rest of the table. Isn't that right, Nathaniel? Let's go. Excellent. Let's boogie. Hello. Oh, they can't hear me yet. RTC connecting. One Piece inspired D&D campaign. My name is Ruben, your airship captain for the evening. In just a few minutes, we'll hop into episode 11 of the campaign. The Limelight Pirates face battle in the skies above the Grand Line. If you weren't here last episode, or if this is your first time joining us, the previous VODs are on YouTube and a recap is available in the chat. Just type exclamation point recap to catch up. As always, let me offer our special thanks to the folks who made tonight possible. From the art front, Julian Rush, Vieira, and Squaffle. And for the stream, Mook Crush, Nathaniel, and Jonah. Tonight's warm-up question for the players. What would your character wear to the group Halloween costume party? Oh my God. Let's start with McCleary, played by Chad. I would go as a pirate. Ha, 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 ha. No, um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like a, a vampire. Okay. I think that, that he wants, he That's would fine. want to be like that sort of like trendy, like, oh, I have real long hair and like, oh, vampire vibes. But he's just not. He's so like a very really strong. <laughs> yeah, he's just like a big brick <laughs> dude with like bald head stop, man. <laughs> also, three grand brown bounty. Nice. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Failing that, the Frankenstein monster. I can see that. I like that. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Let's All go right. with that uh, instead. I want. I want the Frankenstein monster. <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh, next up, let's do uh, Monty, played by Riley. Hi. I would just say probably Eddie Munson from Stranger Things. Ah, oh my god. Uh, I will say I made Monty before Stranger Things came out, and it just it lined up perfectly. I was like, I love this. That's a good choice. And then you cosplayed Eddie before watching Stranger Things. That too. You cosplayed before you knew anything I, I didn't even know what was going on, but I cosplayed. 
But Riley, how does Monty know who Eddie Munson is? You're breaking the fourth wall, Riley. Fourth wall. Oh, it's, the you. <laughs> um, it's fantasy AO3. Duh. <laughs> and by the way, it looks like we have the updated bounties. Thank you so much. Yeah. For Hell yeah. I don't know why um, there's question marks. <laughs> All good. Bar barbarian um, question mark. Bar barbarian question mark. <laughs> uh, Razim played by James. Uh, I would um go as Sinbad from Magi. Most likely, I think that's a good pick. Oh. Very that's cool. really cool. Yep. Um, Razim also at one K. Congratulations. Nice. Wait um, a minute. Can I? Can I inquire for a second as to how this happened? As to how what happened? The we bounty did, raised. We did kind of smash some. Crimes. Yeah, we right, did kind of smash some brains. Isn't the empire setting this bounty? Mm -hmm. So, but like the the casino people were like, these guys are bad. <laughs> we're gonna report them. To <laughs> we're gonna report them. Or is it just the mythos of of bounties in general? I t didn't do anything wrong. I feel like it <laughs> magically updates based on how bad we've been. Maybe so. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to figure out who who, who, can say. who can say. Thank you, Riley. Who can say? Um, next up, Myrtle, uh, played by Nathaniel. Um, is it stupid to say Bowser? <laughs> That's the only thing that I can oh. think of for a turtle. <laughs> he doesn't even wear clothes except for a scarf. So <laughs> just, just just go as Jack Black. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Black is my answer then. Nice. Uh, okay. <laughs> what would that even look like? Yeah. Um, How do you go with Jack Black? Fuck no. Put on a wig and have a guitar hey, or something. Just in the background. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll be Kung Fu Panda. No, I'll be uh, what's his, what's the Doc fucking turtle? Panda? Who's the turtle from? The turtle from, from Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you're gonna be uh, fucking Uguay or something. You, yeah, Uguay. Yeah, Uguay. 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 Very nice. Very cool. Uh, next My, up, the Kai, played by Ryan. Uh, Takai would dress up as a slutty incubus, and you may think that a slut that the word slutty just goes with incubus, but no. However slutty you think a normal incubus costume is, it would be worse. Like, so banana hammock. <laughs> no, <laughs> way. you have to be specific. Leather banana hammock. <laughs> Leather, perfect. Leather banana hammock, full full red body paint. Very horns. nice. There's not even like a. Clip on thing holding it on, it's just glued on. Clip on nipple, like <laughs> tassels. <chain. laughs> clip on nipple, nipple. Clip yeah, just, on just nipples. clip on the nipples. You know those, nipples you know on those, top like, of nipples. You know those like pasties where there's like chains on them and they attach to yeah. other things. It totally that, just like, just absolute fucking whore. <laughs> Perfect. On that note, uh, <laughs> Canis played by Jonah. Bond, James Bond. Okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. I like that. Cool. And we have the captain of the crew uh, of the Limelight Pirates uh, at 2K. Uh, lovely. Uh, next up, Sunny, played by a unfortunately very sick Corey. Yes, oh, hello. Um, oh. Yeah, no, sorry. I muted because I was dying again. I will be oh, muted no. most of the time. Um, uh, I think Sunny would go as like a sh uh, and I'm gonna fight Chad one of these days for having the same answer as me every time and always going first. <laughs> um, because I think Sunny would be a vampire, but I don't know if you guys have seen like the little vampire and how the like, <laughs> like the vampire, like the vamp not oh, the human cute. kid, but the vampire, the vampire kid scared. is like very like stereotypical like oh, I'm Dracula. We can go as a um, vampire dad and his vampire kid. Oh my god, I have a dad. <laughs> well, Sonny's got a dad anyway. I have a second dad. <laughs> yeah, he can't be your second dad. He's already my second dad. Oh my god. Oh shit, siblings! You've got a sibling now, bitch. God damn it. <laughs> not again. Uh, and last, <laughs> last but not least, Freya played by Courtney. Hi. You, um, you. I think Freya would go as a gargoyle. Ooh, I, that's cute. Um, Disney's gargoyles, I love it. Or... I love it. Disney's gargoyles, <laughs> Goliath climbing up that tower. Yeah, she'd be a very, very uh, a non-motionless gargoyle. She doesn't know how to sit still, but um, she would be the 
most cheerful and goofy gargoyle you've ever seen in your life. Perfect. I believe it. Cool. <laughs> what okay. about what about Salome though? Oh yeah. my god. Um what would Salome be for uh the swan? <laughs> oh. The he swan. might he might actually be a swan. Um or swan he might be prince. like a with all the colors that he wears, maybe like a pelican. Or not not a pelican, um uh, <laughs> a peacock. Uh, peacock. Peacock, thank you. <laughs> started started with the same letter, very very different creatures. Yeah, I don't think he could he could pull off a capybara, but uh I think a peacock would be perfect. Oh shit, um, I forgot to change his fucking bounty. All good? He is at one hundred K. One hundred K, okay. Well one hundred, yeah, one hundred K. I my brain is uh falling asleep at the moment okay uh all right i think that was everyone um excellent well if there is nothing further let me uh let's dive into oh yeah what's happening oh yeah right. you are you're all dying you are not <laughs> yeah, in a good spot there, there, there is, danger. There is one thing before we really get into it shit. uh uh ruin um yeah. so I see that uh, Razim has 22 max HP. Did something happen to his HP where it got halved or something? Or I just want to make sure before I probably make Probably just... Uh, no, did, you uh, just weren't here to fucking update yeah, it. Yeah, you just have to put your HP You've in. not been hit. You have full HP. Okay. I just didn't have control of your token or your sheet. All right. Thank you for that. Oh, um, and also, also no. I did technically cast a spell last week. Uh, and forgot... Oh, mage armor. mage armor, yeah. Of course. And Courtney, you're, <laughs> I, mean, come um, on. I was trying to keep you alive, you son of a bitch. Oh, I thought you were just doing it just to, to meme, but that would have been fine too, you know. No, no, I did cast Mage Armor for you at the beginning. All right, I marked <laughs> it down. Thank you. But we didn't roll a Wild Magic for you because I didn't realize you were a Wild Magic Sorcerer. Oh, I mean, it's whatever. It, it could, <laughs> it could be good or bad. Whatever. So, we'll, we'll for the get best. to that on your turn. Let's say, okay. Well, let's <laughs> and also Courtney, um, when last we left well, our Courtney's heroes, breath has been used. Yeah. when last yes. we left our heroes, the crew uh, met up for the first time with one of the uh, three crowns of paradise, Salome. Uh, they had found his uh, captured ship. He had captured an imperial naval battleship and had uh, filled it with a crew full of various animals. Uh, all of whom he apparently can speak to, uh, despite talking common. Um, you met his ferret, you met his mouse bear, you met some lizards, copy bars, one of which was named the Ambassador. You met <laughs> one of his swans named Her Majesty. Um, it was it was a fine time with this uh, very, very sweet, but very innocent, naive uh, figure, who you eventually find uh, had significant um magical powers now um you uh agreed with salome that you he he indicated that he knew he knows where pan is um the crew the limelights need to find pan uh because of a deal that monty did with pitch earlier in the campaign where if a message is not delivered to pan by a certain point um uh, then monty uh bad things happen um, the baddest thing uh, happens. Um, Salome knows where Pan is, and uh, in exchange for that information and for the introduction, uh, the crew agreed to go with Salome up into the sky. Salome uh, indicated that the Imperium is hunting down the sky whales that travel along the Grand Line in the sky. Uh, and that there is a imperial floating airship port that will pass overhead at just the right moment the next morning. And as expected, uh, he was right. Uh, he allowed. He brought uh, the eight of you up into the sky. Uh, you were all on a uh, rowboat and uh, were rocketed up like a uh, fantasy version of a uh, of a of a. Of a of a, of a rocket and made it up there surprised the folks who were defending this port not expecting there to be anything at all let alone pirates from below you ran into specifically here captain achilles who you had met earlier in the campaign um a very powerful member of the imperial navy um who currently is getting the focused focus fire from salome 
uh, at the same time, y'all are trying your best to mop up the other small fry, but it is still only the first round, and you don't yet fully understand, potentially, what might lie behind those doors. Um, unfortunately, where we just like that. where we left off, um, Achilles utilized his opening uh, villain action, uh, as he did when he first met all of you delightfully in session four, in episode four, uh, and that has stunned a good portion of the crew. It has knocked out, I think, McCleary, and an attack that he uh, launched immediately thereafter um, brought uh, Monty down to zero. For those who are new to D&D, you don't immediately die if you go to zero, but it does begin the clock. So, let me turn on the music that I think now will properly play um, the playlist for uh, Achilles. And let's see where we are. Achilles just finished his turn with his primary attack. So we now go to the very top of the round with McCleary. McCleary, uh, I want to kind of set the stage a little bit for you here. The airship port is still moving in a straight line in the sky. Clouds are being cut through uh, by its presence. Um, the actual platforms, or at least the areas where it extends outward into the sky, is pretty thin, maybe like a foot or two thickness, um, but it's not designed to be... Uh, defensible, really, as a as a weapon, given that there's no one expects there to be any other airships in this area. The Imperium has the monopoly on that technology at Capital. You see a variety of smaller airships that are docked, and you also see the kind of mothership, the larger airship, uh, coming closer uh, on the on the in the map side from your left hand uh, perspective. Um, it doesn't actually look exactly like this. It is the the airship that is approaching is is much more of a of a cargo ship. So it has a, a wider hull. Uh, it does not have as much plating. It is much much wider. So it has uh, more space for for soldiers, maybe for supplies. Um, but it does have an open deck at the front side. Um, and now, having seen what has happened. I'm, you're stunned right now, right? Yeah, I was hit by his mega knock you out thing. I'm, am I like asleep? I, I got under a 10 or whatever. Moments to knock then, you out. <laughs> then you uh, don't see. But I don't the see. Other, I dream. You dream. <laughs> really... But, the, but the, uh, the rest of those who are on the platform, you see that the airship that is approaching, of course, um, who is uh, who are Achilles' lieutenants, um, you know them, you love them. Uh, Lieutenant Isaac and uh, Lucas. Oh, uh, these motherfuckers again! Oh. Have arrived. And he called them or a bitch. Are going to arrive shortly. Uh, McCleary, you are currently unconscious. Um, at the end of your turn, you can make another wisdom saving throw. Uh, <laughs> the DC, as it was before, is a 17. So go ahead and uh, let's see what happens. Um, And we know that this isn't a concentration spell on Achilles' part, right? It's just you have no that. idea what this is. Okay. Well, I uh, what? So what does that what does that do to me? He, I'm like blacked out. You are unconscious. You've collapsed. Okay. That's a very mean move he's got there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh oh no! I am having uh, the the bad dream sweats as I am on sweats. the deck of the airship. Okay, the his his uh, glare, his willpower continues to overpower your own, uh, and McCleary uh, remains unconscious for now. Um, I will note. I think when you fell, um, where do you keep the log posts on your person? Um, I think that he's got quite a few inner pockets in his like vest, and uh, he probably keeps a lot of his valuables in there knowing that he doesn't want things exposed that could be stolen because he's used to stealing from people himself. So he's probably got like sewn in pockets and stuff like that. I imagine like the log pose would be in there. Cool. Nice. Um, all right. Next up in the order is Salome, the uh, crown of paradise who has been helping you out thus far. 
Um, he is going to try and blast um, yet another uh, fireball at uh, Achilles, and it's been working so far, and <laughs> he's taken a fairly significant... I have here he's taken something like 60 points of damage um, yeah. just the first round of combat. Um, so let me uh, make sure I have the right uh, information here, what he has to do. I think it's... And then, is that a saving throw? Hold on, let me just make sure. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. I need to make a saving throw for Achilles. Okay, that's a pass, but it's still a significant amount of damage. Let me get some dice here. Okay. Okay, so here. Alright, that is very <laughs> that's very rough. Let me find his pod. Okay. Cool. Uh, Achilles has been scorched considerably. And I think to kind of paint a little bit more uh, of how it looks, when Salome is is attacking with any of his fire, he's not just kind of, you know, you know, uh, Hadouken it. You know, he he's like uh, flipping around. He's being really acrobatic. So I think this particular strike is him uh, flipping upside down. I think Mermel, uh, the ferret, points <laughs> towards him. And he like does like an <laughs> underhanded like so, uh, upside down softball uh, blast of fire uh, at Achilles from below, um, and that is Salome's turn. Um, he hasn't been hit, I don't think, at all yet. So he he's doing great. Um, next in the order is Takai. All right, uh, Takai is um, he his eyes kind of flit towards uh, Achilles, but. At the same time, he sees that McCleary is down and vulnerable. Uh, so he kind of just... And is going to fire a couple of Eldritch Blasts at uh, Homelander over here. Oh, yeah. Homelander. <laughs> to see if he can just take care of this asshole. Sure, yeah, go for it. Homelander. Okay. Wait, wait, who's the Homelander? The guy the looks like gone. Homelander. Really just... Okay. <laughs> that's that's going to hit. Roll damage. Okay, uh, so first is going to be 12 force and three necrotic. Okay, that that will do it. Uh, this, <laughs> the what does it look like when you eldritch blast something? Um, Takai points his fi points his finger, kind of like finger guns, and a oh uh, my god, <laughs> disco ball colored cat's paw just comes out and smacks people in the face or wherever he's hitting. So. This one's definitely going for the face. Excellent. Cool. Uh, it blasts his... It, 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 it's all, is this fatal or non-fatal? Oh, it's fatal. All right. Mm -hmm. it, it blasts him. I think, like, the handsome mug is, like, obliterated by the blast of force energy. Like, it, his nose, like, snaps off, and the hair follicles are just falling nice. off. It, you, you probably want this guy dead. He's been kind of a pain in the butt. He is successfully out of the work. Takai right. killed Homelander. All right. Um, Oops, I think I did something out of order here, but I'll, no worries. Question. Yes. When I, uh, I think, uh, actually, no, probably can't. Um, in between my two Eldritch Blasts, can I use a bonus action? Um, is your action two attacks? Eldritch Blast at this level does two beams, You, uh, but I think it's probably two beams at the same time, so... I think so, too, yeah. Yeah, all right, so we'll just wait until I've shot the second one. Um, second one... No, it's screw it, I'm gonna shoot Achilles. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, 19. 19 hits, roll damage. All right, 15. Actually, let me check something, because... Oh no, I think it's just um it's just a bonus on the roll, isn't it? Since he's my rival. Oh, it, there are certain conditions that have that apply to All that. right. Let me find It's that. the the rules are designed to encourage it to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Okay. 
You have advantage on initiative rolls and gain a plus one to any attacks against your rival. Okay, yeah, so that doesn't really matter. 19 already hit. Okay, so he takes 15, uh, he takes 15 force damage. Uh, bonus action. I am going to switch my hex from Homelander to uh, Homegirl right here. Um, and I'm going to change the hex I'm going to put on her is... I'm going to stay with a strength, uh, strength uh, ability check. Okay. Cool. And then I'm going to move in between her and my, uh, and my buddy. Awesome. All right. Next in the order is um, Lucas from the airship. He is going to attempt to cast Hold Person on Salome. Oh, actually, this is a save that Salome has to make, and let me just make sure I have the DC correct. If my mouse, oh, my mouse is not okay. Here we go. Um, the DC for him is a 16. I'm gonna roll this publicly because if Salome gets held, this is gonna be bad. Yeah. Salome has to make a Wisdom saving throw. Um, oh. He has. He has no, no modifier in Wisdom. So it's a straight roll. Mm -hmm. That means there's a 75% chance that he fails. I'm going to roll the Wisdom save for Salome. And y'all will see the result. Oh! oh. Great. <laughs> uh, he is able to shrug off the whole person. Uh, and he turns uh, towards the person who casts the spell. Mermel is still facing Achilles. Uh, that is the action that uh, Lucas uh, attempted. At the end of his turn, though, um, Achilles will, seeing that Salome is temporarily, temporarily distracted, uh, he will snap his fingers, and he... Can't be oh, seen. that son of a bitch. I'm not going to move him. You're not sure where he is or what what the deal is there. Okay. Cool. Uh, that is in his turn. Next in the order is Monty. Right. Death saving throws. Yeah. Make a death saving throw, <laughs> yeah. Monty. Actually, I was going to propose, do you want to roll it so I don't even know what's going on? Uh, I've heard this is a thing. Are you yeah. sure you want me to do this? Yes. Okay. So here, here's what I will do. I'm going to to roll my critical roll die. I'm going to take a picture of it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a little video of it. That way you guys know for sure it's 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 legit. Um, Damn. The hands my... of fate for real. All right. And you don't want me to tell you the result? No. Unless, yeah. Unless he comes back up or he dies. Don't All right. tell me the result. All right. I'm rolling it now. <laughs> Okay, I have it on video. All Who right. Who can say? Who can say? <laughs> I'm I will not be doing this. My anxiety cannot take it. I kind of like this. It's I kind of like this, honestly. Wait, the DM rolling your death saves? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I not telling you. I just don't know. Until... Ruben likes the power it gives him. I kind of, I kind of like it. Okay. It um, gives a bit more stress to the oh shit, we need to get them up now. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it does. Right. Okay. Uh, so y'all don't know, it's not a 1 or 20, I would have told you that, but, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, that is Monty. Uh, next in the order is, uh, I almost said Corey, Sunny. Yes, hello. hello. Um, is this, this ship, is this any higher than us, or is it like a straight shot? The ship, the, the ship that, um, the twins are on? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit above, but it's it, it's at your level. You're playing. Oh, that's fine. I can deal with that. Um, I'm Achilles is gone, so what I wanted to do, I can't do. So we're gonna we're gonna do some other stuff. I'm gonna run up this side of Salome. Um, I'm gonna yell at Monty on the way. I'm like, come on, this is no time for a fucking nap. <laughs> Oh god, the voice crack. I don't want to cast a first level uh, healing word. <laughs> magical defibrillator, magical defibrillator. So you get 9 HP back. Lit. Um, nine hold HP. on, hold on. Oh? Or do I need to check something. I need to check if, if wizards have. 
if Whiskers have counterspell. He's gonna oh, counterspell my level one healing word. Is he invisible? Can he do that? No, no, not not Achilles. Oh, um, uh, what's Lucas. Isaac? I think. Or... No, Is Isaac's the punchy Isaac. one. Lucas is gotcha. the uh, wizard one. Okay. Um, the nerdy one. I'm gonna I'll, I'll roll I'll roll this to see whether he does it or not because it is it's on the the fence of like is it important enough? Do they just because they you guys kick their ass? They don't like you very much. They have no desire to play fair. Um, if it's above a ten, uh, then you guys are are safe from it. If it's below a ten, if it's ten or, or higher, you guys are safe. Below a ten, uh, he will ca try to counterspell. Gotcha. He will try well, to counterspell. Um, a bitch. Uh, let me mark off a spell slot for him. So the healing is counter. I know that's. I know it sucks. They don't like you very much, and you guys left them um, alive. Actually, no, this works well because that means that he can't counterspell what I want to do next. Ah! <laughs> oh no, fuck, hang on, shit! <laughs> That's so... also a bonus action! Oh. You know what's not a bonus action? Um, Dissonant Whispers. I'm gonna cast Dissonant Whispers <laughs> third level on the dumb one. Okay? Wait. What's not a bonus action? What does he have to, he does he have to make? It's a wisdom save. I'm gonna give right. him PTSD so hard his mom's gonna feel it. <laughs> uh, the, the barbarian that looked uh, Isaac? Yeah, the one that I called a bitch so hard he passed out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a five. That's a fail. <laughs> um, now what do I add to this? It's one D6 for every level above first. So he's gonna take five D6. Uh, psychic damage uh, and also he has to run as far away from me as he can ah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me know what the total damage is 21 21 on the buff one and he Very has to nice. skedaddle the fuck away from me during his next turn or now now he will go with yeah. the it says it must dis immediately use its reaction if available to move as far as its speed allows away from you. Creature Wait, does not move into obviously dangerous ground, so he's not going to run off the boat. You're just going right, to run down right. the boat. What? Uh, target what? takes half his. Oh no, that's a fulfill a sail. What? What are the whispers that you're saying in his head? What is he hearing in his uh, in his dumb little brain? <laughs> you're weak. You're no good. They feel sorry for you. You'll never be as good as your brother. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. bringing the sibling. I like that. I like, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm an older sibling. I know the fuck it goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, any movements, uh, Sunny? No, because I wanted to Misty step over and shove one of them off, but I can't do that because I'm dumb. <laughs> All good. Um, okay. Next up, we have the trick shots. Uh, first up is the one that's right next to Takai, mm. who has been hexed. Um, and let me see what they're going to try to shoot Takai. They have a special thing that lets them, um, do this, um, at close range and deal additional damage. But they have to first hit you with their, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're going to use the crossbow <laughs> close range. That is a, uh, is that a nine, nine plus, uh, six, 15 to hit just misses okay um and they have one attack so the second one um who is the one that is below uh they are gonna go after freya could you update your health on the thing uh, but they're gonna go for you because you are they, they you're, you look pretty weak so they're gonna go for you wow well, um uh what's my what's my what's my uh AC? No, I mean, like, what's my health supposed to be? Because I... I don't know. Uh, that, that's you gotta, on you, you gotta, Freya. <laughs> you gotta keep this up. Well, no, because I wasn't um, here. Well, you, is you, didn't get you haven't taken any, any You're damage. You're at full health. Okay, I'm at 31. Cool. Uh, is 18 hit? Uh, my AC is 14, so yes. Cool. Um, I need to grab a D10. Great. What if you didn't? Yeah, I kind of need to because it says 1d10 plus 4. Um, 
I rolled a three, so that's a seven. You take seven points of piercing damage as a crossbow a, a crossbow bolt slices through your chest, Freya. Um, with blue, bluish pink uh, blood that looks kind of pretty because your your whole design is adorable, but it is blood and it's not it's not great. This this kind of needs to be on the inside. It's pretty, uh, but it sucks. Ha- have you been injured in any of the fights thus far? I don't think so. I mean, I think I have. I don't think I've been bleeding at all. So this is maybe the first time that you've been uh, seriously hurt. Cool. All right. So okay. Good to know. Question, let, um, me, let me take a note of who exactly hit me. I'm so sorry. I'm dazed and confused right the now. The one directly that across like, from you. That That's right. Over there? All right cool. Yes. I'll ke- I'll you are uh, also stunned, though, so... Oh, frick. Okay, uh, how do I edit my... Click your pod. Oh. Let me make sure I, I gave you... And then click the that gear that shows up at the bottom I left. I did, okay. Yeah. And then, like, in bar one, you'll see the green bar. You just put your value out of your max. And then when you you can click your pog, and then when the three, like red, green, blue, whichever one you put your health in, the green one, if you click that, you can just do plus or minus however damage you take or healing you get, and it'll just put it to your total value. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very, very confused, okay. Well, did someone gift 50 yes. just now? Well, not just Jesus. now, about 20, 15 minutes ago. 50 oh, sh- what? 50 subs. What? Hi. What? <laughs> uh, dude, what happened? I Brian, was getting food. Brian Hart the Wolf gifted 50 subs. Holy shit! <laughs> shit, that, that, that furry money, man. Bro, oh. thank you so much. Holy shit. Uh, you're fucking pog. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Think of all the M Ms you can get now. We we were talking about in chat for like (laughs) a while. I was oh AFK. That's okay. We didn't know you were. I thought the fifty was like over the course of like the month or something. I was like, is that just now? I can't even scroll back that far. What? Oh, I see. Jesus fucking Holy Christ. Holy shit! That's so. That's so. Are you still here? Did you leave after he's like, oh, nobody's gonna want my subs. Oh man, dude, I'm sorry. There you are. I did see it. Okay. Sorry, continue. I got a fight. <laughs> Thank you Sorry. very much, you, Brian. Brian. Um, uh, <gasps> Freya, have you? It looks like you updated your thing, which is great. Yep. Thank you. Um, all right, that that is those two people's turns. Um, uh, Sunny, does the what is the lo- uh, long-lasting effect of the um, of your spell? Can can Isaac move forward now, or is he? Can he not move it when he sees you or something? Is it a fear um, effect? It doesn't say that it's fear. It just says he has to immediately run away from me. Okay. So I I don't think he has to stay away. I think he can come back. Fair enough. Um, he has 40 feet of movement. So let's see. Where it... You have pushed him considerably. Um... I'm at me, you little bitch. Make that jump. Do it. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna go for it. I'd like to see you try. Yeah, we, that's the, uh, the one in the middle there. He Not runs and jump and like in this dramatic, you know, uh, moment, kicks off the side of the airship. His brawny feet uh, uh, cartwheeling in the air and then slams to the ground on the airship. I described earlier it is not that thick and you can see cracks from under his uh, his boots that uh, start almost risking the stability of this portion of the uh, whole station. Uh, um, I'm flipping the bird with my free hand. <laughs> uh, let's see, what is the range of his... He can't unfortunately uh, get you from there. Can he? Hold on. What do barbarians do? I'm not a bar. I'm not, this is. I have too many people. It depends to on the work. subclass. Yeah, uh, he's gonna he's gonna go into a rage. His bonus action will go into a rage. Um, and let's see here. And this music is great. Um, I'm gonna have him. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Uh-huh. He, he is going to like gorilla slam the actual base of the ground here. Um, so he's going to make an attack against the station. Uh, he oh. can't reach you, but maybe he can make you fall. Sacrifice the integrity of everyone. Hey, man, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, he's a dumb bitch. You've, uh, you, we've established this. He's a dumb bitch who I just I, gave level three PTSD. <laughs> level three PTSD. I think you, I think you hear from the airship uh, 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 over there where Lucas is like, what are you doing? You fucking idiot. Um, his hit on the, 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 the ground is successful. Uh, and I'm a little damage for the hit to the ground. It's pretty. I don't think this is gonna be. This is not good. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna draw a circle around the area that is currently at risk. I mean. Oh no. Shit. Hold on. That's probably bad. That's Mm. a stunned bitch and an unconscious bitch. (laughs) Oh no. Can you see this? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yes. (laughs) Um, oh, no. I'm going to. Oh, you, you know what? This is it's this broken. is my first time. I don't have a clock here because I didn't think that far ahead. Because I'm they're back. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been busy this week. Uh, I'll just, I'm just going to add the actual thing here. So I'm going to make a four a four tick clock. Uh, at four ticks, uh, this whole area collapses, irrespective of whatever is potentially on it. And actually, I think that probably also destroys the the section of the the far end or at the top of the map. Uh, so that's going to destroy like half of this station. Okay, be careful, guys. <laughs> um, and you know what? Well, because it was such a powerful attack, and he is a barbarian and was raging, I'm going to make it a. It's at one tick right now. But we don't need to make any sort of save right now to make sure we haven't fallen off. Oh no, you need to make a save. To make oh sure fuck's sake. I need a deck save from everyone in this space. Which will be Monty, who automatically fails. <laughs> Fail. Um that'll be from Myrtle. Salome, who is very dexterous. And oh, no, definitely succeeds. I'm gonna say it's like a it's prob- at this point it'll go up each each tick if it if we have more of these. I'll say it's a DC twelve for now. Because it's, it's it just got it attacked, uh, affected. Sunny obviously saves. Myrtle does not. So Myrtle and <laughs> Myrtle and Monty, um, you begin to slip off. Um, <laughs> if I land back in the water, it's okay. <laughs> as as Salome said, um, if you land on the water, it's off. So you're, you guys yeah. are good. You'll be fine. It's um, only a so, hundred so feet. Let- <laughs> <in there. laughs> Wait, we're in the air or in the water? What the? F- we're, we're in, in the, the air. air. We're like we're so of feet high up in the air. Oh, terminal okay. velocity will be reached. Um, so bullet made of flesh. So y'all, y'all see, so y'all see, Isaac slam the ground. It creates this like reverberation through the entirety of the station. Cracks appear, and the shaking. Uh, begins to push off just from the uh, the shifting of the ground, the huge uh, creature that is Myrtle and the unconscious creature that is Monty. The two of them have slipped off the edge of the platform and have just begun to fall the several hundreds of feet below to the sea. Uh, can I use my reaction to cast a spell? Of course. I have Featherfall. I would like to cast that on both of them. <laughs> Thank nope. you. Thank you. Very good. Um, perfect. Cool. Cool. Okay. Um, that is Isaac's turn. Next, I have the ship here, which is just to indicate that the, the airship that Salome was looking at in the, to begin with is moving. Oh, I need to grab both him and the airship is ready to dock. Okay. It is. It is basically now docking. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, right. Next in the order is going to be a legendary action from uh, the currently invisible uh, Achilles. If I can grab his... God damn it. Hold on. Oh, that's why, because he's on the GM layer. Yeah. Ah. 
Um, he is going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to appear. Uh, and. Yeah. He, with a, uh, a swipe of the hand, also pushes Salome off the platform. What the? Did it Achilles have to make a deck save? You don't know where Achilles was. That's true. And I guess Achilles can, can like, fucking fly, fly yeah. anyway. Fly. Goddamn legend. Uh-huh. Yeah. Why? Hold on. I can't grab Salome. Hold on. Let me move the ship. There we go. He's falling. Great. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, let me, uh, five fallen creatures. Yeah. So I wouldn't be able to cast on Salome anyway. Also, just to be aware, Salome you fly. He, yeah. you saw he was the one who brought you up here in the first place. Oh, um, yeah. I think I think Mermel, uh is a little bit not as. Uh, please, I think Salome is like really pissed off that he's been just like yeeted off the platform. Um, Mermel is kind of clinging to him very uh, closely because uh, I don't think she likes heights as much. Um, next up in the order is Freya. Hey guys, I don't like where I'm at right now. Hey, am I still stunned? Yes. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. The DC has gone down now, given that the time between the initial effect has uh, faded. So this will be, let's say, a DC 12 to pass. Wisdom save. Okay, excuse me. I got a 17, bitch. 17, bitch, uh, passes. Uh, You are not stunned. And I'm going to say that you have your whole turn now. All right, where is... Okay, she's over here. So, all right, uh, let me see. So how... Far can I move? All right. Action. I'm looking. Give me a second. All right, so I'm level five now, right? That's yes. correct. So that means I have my flight ability. Is that what we discussed before? I believe I so. Yes. Cool. Um, then you will have your flight ability, let's say, um, to uh, begin flying. It's a bonus action, and you can move the um, your current uh, speed. And then what did I say for, like, the later levels? Was it, like, a, a, a I'm, faster I'm speed or something? I'm not really sure. Let's say for now, um, bonus action to, you know, spread the wings and begin flying. And then once you're flying, I don't plan on flying this turn just yet. But I sure, but let me just establish what the what the rules yeah, yeah, will be. Yeah. So, um, you will you will have your current speed, which is probably like thirty or forty feet. And then let's say at level um, twelve, at level twelve, you will be able to do double your speed uh, when you're flying. Now, the challenge is, of course, if you're in the air, and obviously everyone's in the air right now. But um, if you're in a on the ground and you're flying and you get hit and you fall, you might take additional damage at that point. Yeah, so just be aware fine. of that. Uh, but yeah. Uh, um, I'm trying to see, like, how far can I move in one turn? That will be indicated on your sheet, probably 30 or 40 feet. I think it's 30. How far away is this? Sorry for all the calculating. All good, all good. All right, cool. There's only a bazillion things to keep track of. So I'm going to make track my of. way over here. Make my what's way. Her, what's her weapon of choice? <laughs> is she an archer? Make my way. I'm sorry? She has a crossbow, yes. She has a crossbow? Okay, yes, well, I'm going to yes. make my way right over here. Make my way. Okay. And I'm going to draw my short sword. I can use them both at the same time, correct? Because I'm a dual wielder. Dual wielder? Yeah. All right, cool. I'm going to draw them both. Okay. I would like to... Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Um, okay. Yeah, first, I'd like to stab her. <laughs> You're... You are more than but, welcome uh... to try. Go for it. All right, uh, okay. All right, okay. I'm, try- I'm trying to figure out, like, how, what do I, <laughs> what do I freaking roll? If you click on your D&D Beyond sheet, it should roll it for you. Okay, okay, okay. Um. 
All right, one, one D six plus four. You first need to roll to hit. Right. So that will be okay. a D twenty plus something else. D twenty plus, and that's uh, that a... your attack modifier. My attack modifier. I'm so sorry. This takes so. So, far so long. you see the the box that is right next to damage that says hit DC. Click on that. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. 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 Yeah, you're fine. Here, I'm just gonna share my screen because I'm really bad at this. I'm so sorry. Uh, sure. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. You're fine. Uh, it's loading for me. Which... Actions. Actions. Okay. Um. Attack. Oh wow! I was at. I was over. Here. I was like. I don't know. And then where you would just I click. Was, you would first click the plus. Anything. You would first click the plus seven to do the hit, yeah. and then if you hit, you would then do. Yeah. So I got a, I got a, did I, I got a, I got an eight. Uh, an eight yeah. is not going to do it. Uh, you, uh, what are you hitting with again? What, what weapon? Short sword. I have, Short I sword? Have, yeah. You like run over and you're probably, uh, you're still bleeding from the crossbow, the crossbow bolt from earlier. I think you kind of stumble a little bit from the lack of balance that the loss of blood gives you. So the sword like cuts a little bit of her hair, but doesn't actually get her torso. Um, you have a bonus action. Okay. Um. Wait, uh, Coco, you're a level five. Yes. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Ro do rogues get double attack? No. Okay, never mind. Yes. Sneak, sneak attack. If you are using finesse weapons, you can attack with your offhand, but you do not get your bonus to your damage. It's not a but double attack, you, though. It's a bonus action. It's, it is yeah. a bonus secondhand attack, but if you don't hit with your first one, your sneak attack then rolls over to your second one instead. Which is only going to matter if you hit, so just roll your second hit. Okay. I do have... Yeah, I have... Um... So roll, roll to hit again, please. Okay. Got a 14, or uh, I got a 21. 21 hits, roll damage. All right, sweet. I got a six. Six points of damage. And what does it look like, Frey, when you, uh, after uh, not getting her the first time, you're staring down this uh, cold-hearted uh, human sharpshooter. What does it look like when you uh, stab her? Okay, so... I I definitely uh, miss on the first jab, but when she dodges the first one, I basically shove the second sword into her ribs. Nice. Um, A quick when, question, like, quick question, Coco. Mm -hmm. That six was that just from your short sword? Yes. Uh, roll three d six. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I have to do it on this one. Six. Uh, one more D6. Oh, 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 oops. I don't know why it... You're good. Definitely press three. No. Right, well, um, can I do that one instead? Um, <laughs> we'll take no. we'll take the first of those. Um, okay. So that'll be a four. That'll be ten points. Yeah. Okay. You're a, you're a rogue and you are flanking so you get so every few levels you uh increase how much sneak attack damage you get you only okay. get to do that once per turn but okay. and it's only if you're either sneaking up on them so you're stealthed um in their eyes uh or you are flanking with someone else so they are technically distracted from you yeah, you either have to have advantage, they have to be engaged with okay. another enemy of theirs, and you have to be using a finesse weapon, so nothing bigger than a rapier. Okay, well, I wasn't done yet. I wasn't done with my turn, because I had something really cool that I was going to do. Do it. Um, and while while the one dagger is still inside of her, or not dagger, but the one short sword is still in her ribs, with my free hand, I rip my cloak free, and my wings spread out, and I lean in close and I say, Nobody makes me bleed my own fucking blood. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Very nice. Uh, I'll give you a point of inspiration for that. It's very cute. Um, okay, cool. Uh, anything else for you? No, I'm just going to keep on keeping on. All right. 
end of your turn before we get to Myrtle. Um, Lucas will use he, a very familiar villain action from the earlier fight. Uh, he will summon his minions. Let me grab them from the... They, are, they were pre-positioned in this location, I promise. Uh, a bunch of skeletons appear from the ground. Uh, this like smoky black substance, uh, just from a simple snap of, snap of his fingers, uh, out of the sort of entrance area of the airship station. Um, okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, I will do that after Myrtle's turn. So let me give uh, Myrtle. Uh, Myrtle, you are falling, but you're falling slowly. You haven't yet gotten uh, far enough away from the platform where you wouldn't be able to grab it. Do you know, um, uh, Sunny, how fast a person with other fall falls? 60 um, feet per turn. Yeah, 60 I think. feet per round instead of like the 600. Ah, okay. So you're still falling then. Um, just, just there's no way soft. I can there's no way I can like use a reaction to like try to grab on. I think you absolutely can. All um, right. Myrtle wasn't uh, stunned, right? Or was he? No. He was. I was thought, I? thought you were. I thought it was everybody, oh but oh, I think was you're right. Canis no, and, then? no, Canis wasn't. I thought. I thought well, there was I mean, only the three of us. If you where am I? No. If you make your no, it was Takai, Canis, and Sunny were the only ones who were not stunned. Everyone God, else was stunned except for McCleary. I was mega who's stunned. Mega who's stunned. <laughs> but okay. like, if, you, if you make your wisdom save, I mean. Yeah, so it will be a wisdom save DC 12. This is the beginning of your turn. Okay. Uh, well, 1d20. Nope. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, you are still under the effect um, of the. What did I call it? Let me give you the name of the uh, the ability that, that you're really pissed about. Um, oh, suspend will. Okay. Um, you're still under that effect. Uh, okay. Um, so you can't grab. You begin to fall. You were falling, though, I should say, along with Salome. He was also falling at a faster rate, though. Um, okay. End of your turn. Um, Achilles will use another of his legendary actions. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Bring it yeah, on, though. Achilles. Oh, yeah, what if he no. didn't? Someone's like, gonna die, and it's either gonna be you or all of us. A fun. <laughs> a fun, right? Dandy's fun. Oh, um, uh, wrong. Let me, let me go uh, see what he has. Don't worry, guys. I have my potion of calming on my desk. It'll be fine. My potion of calming. I have my. <laughs> oh, oh, Can you pass that shit over here? <laughs> Ocean of Calming is a bottle of water with a load of shit load of glitter in it. <laughs> <laughs> also, you know Myrtle, you do have the potion you made for everyone else, right? You have one as well, don't you? Uh, yes. You mean the, the, the potion of, like, Featherfall? Of Featherfall, yeah. Yes. So at least there's that, too. But he's stunned and I've already cast Featherfall on him. Right, so he'll um, hopefully hit the water real slow. Yeah, it, I mean, they don't take any damage when they land, as long as the spell is... If it takes them more than a minute to land, they're going to die. I can't well. swim! <laughs> you're a turtle! <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're a land turtle. <laughs> a land turtle! <laughs> Monty, he was unconscious, is falling. <clears throat> Myrtle is stunned and falling. Um, the person who just uh, attacked his lieutenant is in front of him. Oh, fuck's sake. I Bye, think sunny. that... Hold on, I need to make sure I, I, I have the, uh, the description of the effect correct you know what this will be great character development for all of you yes <laughs> it will be great character development it will be us making a new character <laughs> <laughs> to develop we can all play triplets <laughs> um he's gonna use kinetic crush he's gonna use second what? order he's what? Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna kinetic, use kinetic crush second oh, order okay. telekinesis um I need you to make a strength saving throw. You son of a bitch. And the DC before you roll, the DC as the same as his other DCs is, is a 17. You want a 17 or higher? So I want an 18 or higher. Oh my, oh no. You poor thing. I'm a bard, you son of a bitch. <laughs> this is the first campaign where we've had a lot of characters with negatives in some. Yeah, so. it is. Damn. <laughs> Bye, Sonny. 
Um, you feel the space around you begin to crush in against you. It's as if you are in a lockbox that is slowly getting smaller and smaller. So you, there are parts of your body, bones, uh, that are being crushed by this force. Um, it, it almost looks like he actually has his hand extended and is doing this a crush uh, 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 gesture, and you feel it. You feel it in your legs, you feel it in your back, you feel it in your arms. Uh, this is probably some of the most pain you've ever experienced. Um, you will take 2d8 force damage. Oh, that's, that's a 7. Fuck. That's an 8. God damn it. Um, no. But what if he didn't know? <laughs> you take so bad for me. You, you take 15 points of force damage. Oh, um, your speed becomes zero. Oh um, fuck! Oh. This one ends here. Yeah, it ain't no where I'm well, going. And then the music starts now. kicking off. <laughs> that is his legendary action. Um, okay, before we get to Razim. Let me sort of again update. There's just there's, there's so many characters in the board. I got to give like a recap here. This, this we so have at the top the airship that Salome was targeting with the twins. Uh, Lucas is now. Sorry, Isaac is now uh, on the station. Lucas is still blasting off magic from his position. He just summoned a bunch of skeletons at the bottom of the map. Um, the two uh, uh, trick shots are both injured. The one that is closest to Freya is very very rough and is going to fall at any moment. Um, Myrtle and Monty, who is unconscious and question mark saving throw, de death saving throw, uh, are both falling from the platform as is Salome, who is shoved off both through physical force and through kinetic force by Achilles. Um, and we are at one clock for a large chunk of the station completely falling and everyone going along with it. Um, Stuff is happening, guys. <laughs> um, Razine, you're up, and uh, Canis is on deck. Let's go! So I'm able to move and stuff? Or no? Yeah, I think you were stunned, right? Make yeah, a wisdom stunned. wisdom saving throw DC 12 as we have the start of your turn. Okay, wisdom saving throw. I got a nine. A nine, unfortunately, will not do it. Do you have a point of inspiration or anything else that you can utilize? Bardic inspiration, anything at all? Uh, no, I don't have any inspiration. You can beseech the muse. Beseech the muse. You, you. So let me let me give you some options here. You're at full health, forty four points. Um, and I will, I'll also double this as an explanation for folks who might be joining us for the first time. We have a new mechanic in this campaign. Um, to try to make this a little more, a little more anime-like, um, you can push yourself to get one benefit uh, on the list. This is included in the introduction document. Yes, um, sure. You can, if you beseech the muse, you would get a D twenty fate die, which you can use for anything. Uh, there are other two. There are two other abilities as well, and you also want to keep track of your uh, usage of this because you have to make a roll at the end of the combat to see if you uh, incur a scar. Who has done this so far? I think, I know uh, Takai did it once. Takai and has. Sunny, yeah. Takai and Sunny, okay, cool. All right, so. Um, do you want this, however, there is a cost and the cost is half of your current HP. I'm doing it. People are falling and potentially dying. Fair enough. You take, you will sacrifice 22 points of your health. You get a D20. You can add to this roll if you'd like. All right, we're adding to the roll. All right, roll d twenty. And does this take like an action or something to do, or whatever, or whatever? This is just at the beginning of your turn, so it doesn't count for any, towards anything. Okay, so um, so d twenty added. I'll roll it in the in the uh, in the game. Go for it. You roll a nine, high. so you need at least a hell fucking yes. Nice. You are pissed. There is danger happening. Razim is in. Uh, Razim, you have shaken Achilles' influence from you. What do you do? All right, I see three people falling. I'm gonna try to save them all. All yes, right, please. so uh, I am going to go my inventory real quick. The spell I'm gonna cast, I'm going to quicken it, so that means I have to use two sorcery points to make it a bonus action. I'm going to cast uh, actually, uh, should be able to do this. 
Where's the spell at? How many two level spells spell slots I have? Okay, I have enough. All right, I have three spell slots for level two. Okay, um, I will cast this Vortex Warp. Shit. Hell I will yeah. cast Vortex Warp on, um, oh, uh, what's that guy's, uh, what's it? I just, what's the guy's name? The, on the Salami, the Salami, on Salami. Salamander? Okay. Salamander, yes, yes. So, uh, he can choose to fail this constitution saving throw. If he fails, I get to move him somewhere else within range, okay. which, is, which is 90 feet. Yeah, he will He will choose to fail. All right, so let's. I'm going to move him. What's the safest spot to put him? Because now there's a bunch of undead over there. Uh, I will move him. Now, and be, say, before, before you decide anything, let me yeah. also just give you some some information your character would know. It, you, Salome was the one who brought you up here. Okay. Um, with his with his firepower, are you sure you want to use it on him? Um, he can is fly. He, is he on our side or not? He, he is, is on our side. He can, yeah. he can fly though, like on his own. <laughs> he can fly on his own. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Myrtle Myrtle's a, is a is a turtle, and he probably and can't Monty fly. Is so I, cause this is, this this will require less uh, less magic. But then um so instead of using it on him since he has the ability to fly, Sonny sure is also in grave it. danger. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'll fine. use. No, you're not. I'll <laughs> so I'll. Uh, I'll shift it to I'll, I'll use uh, it on um, on uh, on Sunny instead. And okay. The fuck out of here. Uh, what's the safest spot? Where's our? Which one's our ship? Which one's our ship? We came no, up. We, we, we came up on a we came, Like where you're standing is where we came up. Okay. Uh, and we don't so have a ship. <laughs> Salome oh, flew us God. up here on a fucking rowboat. It's I'm safe. You know. Whatever. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. Um, so just leave me. It'll be funny. <laughs> everyone that I'm gonna try to save, I'm putting them as close to here as possible. Okay. So uh, we'll start with Sunny. Sunny gets teleported to that spot. Well, no. What save is it? Because I don't want to go. It's like, you don't want to go. It's a constitution save. <laughs> I don't want to go. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. You can't. No, go. <laughs> I'm mad now. No, I'm mad now. They knocked. They knocked my friend out. They knocked him off the ship. <laughs> I'm okay. mad. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter. It's a nine. All right, get your ass over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. <laughs> over here. Damn it. All right, so that was my uh, that was my bonus action. First of all, um, by the way, um, Ruben, did you want me to roll for wild? I do want you to roll for wild magic search. Okay, and all right, so uh, we'll D20? roll d twenty. Do you think you should have gotten the falling ones up first? <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool, and, good. Okay, so I'm good. And then that's for my action. I'm going to cast it again, except this time I'm going to use sorcery points to uh, twin the spell, which means I have to use two sorcery, initial sorcery points to target two people with the spell. So okay. Myrtle and uh, Monty to the same spot Sunny is at. Okay, very good. Uh, Thank make a, you. Make a wild magic check. Wild magic check, yes. Uh, okay. I so badly want you to get I know, to I know one. you do. <laughs> cool, okay, you're, you're good. Uh, you do have movement left. All right. Whew. Monty as well, Everybody's right? Seeing every, yeah, yeah, everybody. Like yeah. Here. Thank God. Monty, move and, your character. Uh, I'll move oh, next. Sorry. I'll move right over. Get your ass over there. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, that that counter spell, the uh, the healing has fucked up a lot of stuff here. That one. Yeah, it is everyone. Right over here. I, right I over breathe here. a sigh of relief oh, as I, I breathe oh, okay, a sigh. Okay, I see of, it now. I need to move out. Oof. I breathe a sigh of relief as I uh, run over to uh, oh. to the. I guess. I guess where McCleary and uh, Canis is. Most oh, of I, I'm Canis accidentally is. behind. Canis is knocked out, right? No, Canis is good. Okay, good. good. All right, so I guess as you guys saw them fall, you just hear like. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> I love all that. All three of us in a group, a nice yes. concentrated little group. Yes. So it was better than falling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, because you won't be falling with style, okay? <laughs> All right, um, so I, I run with McCleary. I, I mean, run where McCleary and those guys are, so. Okay. For my movement. And I use, <laughs> that's what I'm done. I just breathe a sigh of relief, <laughs> often and puffing, because that was a lot of magic in a short burst, so. <laughs> it's like, oh, cool. safe. All right, Canis, you're up. 
Okay, so um I am going to uh move myself. Uh yeah, I'm gonna move myself here. And I am going to make my uh spiritual weapon attempt to thwack Achilles in the back of the head. Okay. Uh as it turns into this kind of like steely rose mace. Ooh. And I'm gonna do my roll, roll my attack here. Come on. Ten. <laughs> Ten's not gonna hit, unfortunately. Okay, all right. Uh, and that's that is. That is my action. That was my bonus action, actually. Uh, let's see. So. Uh. Got to cast hold person on Achilles. On Achilles? Yeah. I'm gonna draw my gun, and as soon as I get to like around here. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to level my pistol at his head, and another concussive blast will come from the gun. Nothing erupts from it, but uh, he certainly feels it. Um, Love the flavor. And uh, he needs to roll a wisdom save. And it's interesting because you've been doing a little bit of this telekinetic stuff before, and you're finally starting to get a sense that maybe that, that sort of... It's not magic, it's supernatural, might be similar to what Achilles is doing. Uh, you said a wisdom okay. save. Uh, yeah, wisdom save. He has a plus seven. I will roll this in the chat because a whole person on Achilles would be big. 18. Oh. Yeah, that saves. Okay. Ah, worth a shot. I literally shot. have no damaging spells. No so. guts, no glory. Right. Yeah. It would have been huge if it worked. Uh, bonus anyway. action. Uh, bonus action was my attack with my spiritual weapon. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. And that is, that is the end of my turn. That's as far as I can get on my feet. Okay. Uh, Achilles. I need to see if he has anything that ha that is an area of effect, because y'all are grouped together. Mm. Let's see. Gravitational collapse sounds interesting. What does that do? Sounds bad. I don't like it. He should use it on <laughs> his friends to test it. You should use it on all these little skeletons. To target practice. I mean, look at all these guys. <laughs> guys, so nice yeah. you kill them twice. They're lining up. <laughs> they look like they belong in Pirates of the Caribbean or Sea of Thieves. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second here. Oof. Oh, that's, that shit works. that's rough. Don't say that before you're about to do something. He's going to use, I uh, haven't used this before yet. This is, he's going to use Harlequin. Um, fourth order telep telepathy. Um, how many people can he do this to? One. Sunny. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. Sun, this is gonna be sunny. Yeah. Um hold on. I didn't mean to make myself public enemy number one. I only gave you to steal. And things. you wanted to stay. You made me <laughs> angry. Well stay back. Do you do you have you're not a, you're what, are you a human or have a half of forgot? I'm a human. Human. Yeah, okay. Cool, 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 the one cool. time I don't play a fucking elf. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, boy. DC 17, like the others. Is anyone on our team good at making wisdom saving throws? No. Nope. I feel like we're all really bad at them. I'm an intelligence build. I have a plus seven. Canis. Okay, Fuck so yeah. Kane is. Nah. Nice. Nah. Oh. Nah. You feel, um... <laughs> oh. You feel this, like, warmth and comfort um, that you didn't have before because you were in the battle um, as these, like, fake memories of learning from um, Achilles, working in the Imperial <laughs> Naval Academy. Um, 
you feel your 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 muscles begin to kind of tense up momentarily, sort of like the effect that he did earlier. But as it releases, you feel this calm come over you. Um, and you can hear his thoughts now directly um, without having to look at him. Um, you are uh, charmed. Um, you have a uh, telepathic link with him as long as you're on the same plane. Um, you will have to do your best to obey any commands uh, issued to a you. If the target completes an order and doesn't receive further direction from you, they defend and preserve themselves to the best of their ability. Um, until the end of your next turn, target takes action you choose. Yeah. And each time the target takes damage, they make a new wisdom saving throw. If the saving throw succeeds, the charm condition ends, and you will get damage if you do succeed. Um, that's the that's the rough part of this. Um, okay. So you're going to get hurt either way. The instruction to you... I will say, uh, if you want to just DM this to me, to make it... Yeah! Yeah! Oh! The mm, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Let me find where you are. Because I feel like I know what one of them might be. We're losing our healers. Yeah! <laughs> this is the instruction, um... Yeah. Or actually, this would probably be, you know... Cool? Yeah. Awesome. All right. Uh, that is his main action. Um, let me have him do a save against... Let me actually... Yeah, I'll do that at the top of the round. He will move... Um, he's going to move... God, I, keep, I keep grabbing the ship instead of him. Let me move this here for a second. He's gonna move. I don't know, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna get. Over here, cool. A little bit further out. And that is his movement. Top of the round, I will tick this clock up, which I need to actually grab the other clock thing. Okay. So now it's a two for the half of the whole thing falling apart. Okay? As the music swells. Uh, yeah. We're <laughs> at the top of the order. At this point, anyone now who is still stunned during your turn, that effect have, has now faded. Okay? Thank you. Um, nice. <laughs> uh, McCleary with uh, Salome and Takai on deck. You're up. All right. Um, well... Oh, uh, shit, I didn't roll for the fucking skeletons. Let me, um, real quick, let me add sure. that, them to the... Uh, oh, I thought they were quick. just the audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My kids, too. <clears throat> oh, let, um, <laughs> let me Ruben. roll a 20. I rolled a 14. Okay, so... Ruben. Yes? <laughs> I shouldn't ask, but did you also want me to roll wild for the uh, mage armor that was cast last session? Uh, fucking of course. D20. D20. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> You're oh. welcome. You're welcome, everybody. He fireballs oh, man. in place. All right, so Fireball I'm going to... centered on himself. I'm okay. going to... Oh, is that for your wild uh, magic? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to oh, upload the table so you guys can see it. I'll, be, I'll grab it real quick. You can get, yeah, you can go ahead. Go for it. Can you explain oh, what wild it. magic table does for people that don't know? Sure, uh, let me go grab a decent explanation <laughs> for it on my Just deck. explain in your own words. So, okay, so whenever I cast a sorcerer's spell that's uh, level one or higher, I, um, at the DM's discretion, have to roll a d20 immediately after that. If I roll a one, I am now under the effect of wild magic, which means literally anything could possibly happen depending on a secondary roll. Of and a before D100. you roll that, let's just look at a, a few of the random effects on the table. It's, it's yeah. our first time doing it. Yeah. Uh, you, my, you cast confusion on yourself. Um, your hair falls out but grows back over the next 24 hours. Um, you cast fly on a random creature within 60 feet ahead of you. Um, you some of these are, are good. You, like, you get stuff. One of them is you are transported to the astral plane until the end of your next turn. Um... Man, there's some really good stuff here. So I want you to roll this in roll 20, roll uh, <clears throat> slash roll D100, and let's see what you get. 
Slash roll D100. Okay. Don't get 35, 36, because you're going to get so fucking old. Slash roll D100. 93. Oh. 93. Oh my god. Your size is... <laughs> <laughs> what? Your size is size category for the next minute. <laughs> Wait, what? Your you're size a big, you're big. I'm you're a big boy. I'm a big boy. Oh my okay. god. I am sad. That's, that's oh. really fitting, given that he has the puppet that grows. Right. Oh, oh, oh no, I can make I can make him match my height. My... Um, oh this my is God, also not great because you're see. you're not you're on a oh. yeah. <laughs> oh he ain't that big. That boy got a big old head. Oh but yeah. Here. Um so <laughs> so he, here's here's what happens. So as as the battle is happening, as Canis is running towards the ship, as the skeletons appear, as something happens to to Sunny, um, as Achilles runs over back towards his twin, <laughs> suddenly from the side of, of the station, this like blast of uh, greenish energy that kind of emanates from Razine's body uh, turns golden. His whole form uh, begins glistening this beautiful gold silvery, silvery light. And then you see that form slowly begin to morph larger and larger and larger until the same size Razine, uh, and we'll say the clothes too for the sake of uh, decency, uh, be, uh, grows uh, to like 10 feet tall. Your body is wider. Uh, you, you're only like one foot is able to stand on the platform in your current position. Um, and you, let's say, do we want your voice to be affected too? Are you like talking deep, like a, like a giant? Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Excellent, excellent. So Razim just, <laughs> just suddenly <laughs> fucking turns giant. And you, hear, um, and you hear me say as it's happening, oh no, not again! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Um I'm gonna the the added weight of the regime um oh no. Oh no. is gonna tick right. this up again to three. Ah! Jesus. That scared the piss no, out of me. No, yeah, no, go ahead and uh knock that right off because he's gonna fall. Not Achilles, but the other one. The shit boy. <laughs> shit boy. Dumbass. Okay, so this this is this is I, I need to write this in my notes. I'm sorry I'm, guys, I'm sorry. Can you like hit harder now? <laughs> I I don't think that's how it works, Chad. It, I believe nope. it is. It's it's enlarge slash reduce, right? I guess that's. No, it just what it says is. he's a size bigger. It just says I'm a size boy. bigger. Oh, okay. So actually, I think even that pog is one size too big. I think it would be a two by two. Yeah, but it but it helps make the. Uh, it it but makes it funnier. Fun. This way. It's funnier. <laughs> <Just so much. laughs> um, okay, uh, McCleary. Before you tell me what you do, I just want, I just want to know what your reaction is to Razim getting big. Um, I think he wakes from his fugue state and he <laughs> looks up and sees a giant Razim, and he's like, you know, you'd think that's the weirdest thing I'd seen these days. My God! And he sort of gets to his uh, feet and assesses the situation. Um, and he uh. I'm gonna attack this woman. I'm gonna step forward and uh, sort of like, where were we? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, Go for I'm it. I'm gonna make a weapon attack. 21. Hits, roll damage. All right, that's gonna be, uh, I'm adding sneak attack with this, so it's gonna be 2d6 plus uh, five. Okay. Yeah, that's 13. gonna be way more than enough. <clears throat> um, she, just because she's been a pain in your sides, how do you want to do this? He, uh, I think he sort of comes in and he like he cuts her a bit, <clears throat> and then he maneuvers behind her and he puts his dirk right up to her throat, and he smiles real wickedly as he's about to slash it. But then he, he kind of calms his hand and he thinks about it, and he says, "It's your lucky day, lass." And instead, I just hit her over the head with the pommel of my dirk. Very nice. Very cool. McCleary is so cool. I uh, fucking love him. I thought you were going to say he stops and he thinks and he contemplates it and he does it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, you have bonus action and movement. And yes, skeletons. I would like to. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a move called bait and switch. 
that I have as one Ooh. of my uh, battle master things. Ooh. So what I do is I expend a superiority dice, and I can swap places with a target within five feet of me. It would be Takai or Freya. I'm not going to do that. Um, but I am going to roll the superiority dice, and I gain a bonus to my AC equal to the number I roll until the Shit. start of my next turn. That's great. Nice. <clears throat> so I'm going to give myself... I'm going to roll one of those, a d8. Uh, that's not correct. My bad. You don't get a, you don't get a plus <laughs> 20 to your AC? <laughs> plus 6. Okay. Hell yeah. Shit, that's still a lot of extra so, stuff. Uh, then I'm going to step sort of... In front of all the skeletons. In, into the little uh, pond? Or little into the, yeah, I'm going to stand like I'm on the lip of it, you know? Nice, nice. Very dexterous. And I, with my little dirk, I make a swipe. I'll do my bonus action attack at one of the skeletons. Go and for I it. I say, uh, come on, you old bag of bones. Show me what you're <laughs> made of. And that's going to be... Uh, we'll see. That'll be 26 to hit. That definitely hits the skeletons. A roll damage. It's gonna be one d four plus five. Well, that automatically means that you will destroy the two that are closest to you, uh, and the overkill damage. So your sword uh, cuts through the bones of both the two that are closest to you. Um, their necks just snap from the pressure of it, uh, and they turn into dust on the ground. Two of these have been destroyed. Uh, anything else, McCleary? Um. No, that is it. Okay. Uh, Salome is going to use his action, uh, very frustrated, to uh, cast uh, his innate uh, fire ability and leap back up onto the, the platform, although he's going to do it a little bit closer over here. Actually, no, 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 he's, he's dumb. I forgot. Um, he's going to do it right over here, um, risking the fourth tick on the um, clock here. Oh, he fucking flies anyway. He fucking flies anyway. It'll be, um, It'll be all right. <laughs> Can't hurt stupid. What I think fuck? I think Mermel, uh, I'm just gonna, for the sake of the uh, the narrative here, jumps onto Izok and starts scratching and biting his face. <laughs> and I think y'all were like, how does, how does this ferret have a bounty that's that high? Shit, she is vicious. She does not care that she's fighting a lieutenant. Um, and you, you you wonder how can anyone survive a ferret attack uh, <laughs> when she's this good? Um, so that's happening here. Um, okay. Um, cool. Uh, Takai, you're up. And All next right. player will, will be, who will be Monty. Uh, Takai. All right. Um, as, uh, as McCleary, um, knocks out, uh, lady over here with the crossbow, uh, Takai kind of beckons from her. The hex moves from her, and then almost like throwing a softball, he uses his bonus action to just toss it and place the hex on Achilles, who he has wanted to hex since the beginning of combat. <laughs> and which, and this is the strength hex? Yeah, I'm keeping it strength because, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm keeping it strength. In case okay. anyone wants to like shove the motherfucker. Fair enough. Uh, then uh, finger gun at Achilles. Oh, dude, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you so, fuck you up so hard. <laughs> and he's gonna shoot two eldritch blasts at him. Okay, go for it. Twenty-six and a nineteen. Uh, I believe yes, both those hit roll damage. No, that's not. Yes, that is what Eldritch Blast does. All right, uh, we've got a total of two. What the fuck? Wow. Uh, twenty-four oh, force damage and uh, five necrotic damage. Okay. Shit. And then, and then for uh, the end of, and then for my movement action, I'm going to walk over here. I am going to walk <clears throat> over here. What, 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 what is your reaction as you see the giant there. Razim? <laughs> Actually, before you say that, Razim, is little Z yes. with you? Um, <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. Is he now normal Razim-sized on your shoulder, <laughs> or what's the deal there? Um, 
he is still normal size Razim. I, I haven't told him to, to get big or anything, so I, that would make sense. So, Takai, what is what is your first impression of the situation? Wow. When'd you get so big, Razim? Don't ask questions. <laughs> is it bad that I'm like 20% more attracted to you right now? You're weird. Fight more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and he's just going to wink, uh, press two fingers to his lips, and blow Razim a kiss, and jump off the side. Wait, why? What? I love it. <laughs> did, I, did I stutter? No. Okay. You jump off the side. Are you trying I'm to get the, the, to the other side, or are you just nope. jumping out? I am jumping into space. Okay. We fine. Just leave him. <laughs> yeah, he's a cat. They he's have a not cat. Much. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Next in the order is Lucas. Can I just be like extremely shocked. Real, real quick, Ruben. Was that thing that Achilles cast on Sunny? Is that concentration, or is that just innate? Oh, it, it is concentration. Um. I, I think it is actually. Let me. Let so me that's going to be uh, first hit if we go by which one goes to which hex. Uh, first one is going to be. It was 12, nine. right? Yeah. Yeah. And as a 17 plus whatever it is, that, that that one passes. Second one was a 15. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But thank you for, thank you for uh, keeping me honest there. Um, okay. Uh, oh, trust me. I don't want this on me. <laughs> Lucas is going to cast. When does he, when does his brother move? He's going to cast um, and cast haste on the barbarian. You. It would be not not so good for y'all. Um, no, it'd be funny because then when we knock the wizard out, the barbarian gets stunned for a turn. Oh, he does. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, cool. That is his action. Um, at the end of his turn, I will use the first of the newly reset legendary actions for uh, Achilles this round. Actually, I need to roll something for him because he he has to do a special thing whenever he... This is actually... I kind of want to use this class next campaign. Yeah, he's good. It's a nifty sort of um, way of doing um, uh, resource management. Mm. Um, okay. He is going to use. What did, hold on, what did, I, what did I give him? He's going to use. I think, beam gaze. Yeah. He is going to turn towards. Well, there's 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 so much going on here. It's hard to figure out who would, who would make sense to um, attack. Who does he hate the most? Well, he hates all of you. <laughs> yeah, but the most probably. Uh, well, Salome is in front of him. Um. He hates the doing? person he hates the most is the one that has the most HP. He, probably. Uh, That's a sound. <laughs> that is a sound answer. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Hold on. Well, he needs to move first because he's he you know he's in a, a little bit of a bind. And I let me give um, Salome an attack of opportunity against him. You rolled badly. Okay. All right. Um. You sound so offended. You're right, well, Salome's right. Salome's are really good, so it's weird. It's rare for him to roll like a ten. Um, let's see. He's gonna get. Yeah, he's gonna get to the edge of the, of the range here. And I, I want I want to you know. Stress this that he. He. Told y'all last time, to turn back, and if that he saw you again. Um, well, he wouldn't even waste the energy of putting you in Anchor Twelve. The That's range, the range on on the beam gaze, is thirty oh, feet. 
pissed off. Per- Do it somewhere else. <laughs> the person who has the, who is has the least health, and uh, who is not currently unconscious, um, is Myrtle. Oh. Um, let's see here. You fire oh, a sickening. Light it up. You fire a sickening beam of force from your eyes at a creature you see within range. Um, the target must make a Constitution saving throw or suffer 3d10 force damage and suffer one choice of one of your of, of an additional effect so there is it is not oh it is a half damage okay oh it's half damage okay yeah so. well all right i guess let, i'm just let, not gonna have a turn this entire game let the bodies <laughs> me the too floor. the bodies the i'm Do sorry it. it's it's, it's sorry. for character development i guess yeah um Roll a constitution saving throw. Alright. If we live, you and I can bond later, Grandpa. Ten. Unfortunately, that's not going to do it. Mm-hmm. The green beam of energy... Actually, before... Um, he's not close enough to actually, like, you know, do this. Um, uh, no, I mean... Go for it if it makes sense I'm trying, thematically. I'm trying, I'm, trying, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think I think the, the visual here is he slowly walks forward, not really minding at all the fact that part of the station is collapsing. There is just this visceral hatred that is filling him, and he turns to to Myrtle, and you can see that the 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 hatred itself, the anger, the wrath is being concentrated at his eyes, and that is where the his gaze, which before was the thing that stunned you, and now is it is the thing that will make you fall unconscious. As he says to all of you, I told you to turn back. I told you to leave. You brought this on yourselves. Um, I'm going to roll the damage just to see if it is too much. Go for it. Uh- No, nice. so you are un- you are unconscious. Thank fuck. Um, this was this was his legendary action, um, and uh, I guess a combination of that and villain action, um, and that is where we are here. So right now, just to kind of recap, because we've a lot has happened in this fight already. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Monty, who is currently unconscious and has had a death saving throw. We have um, Myrtle, who has just fallen unconscious. Um, and I think everyone else is relatively healthy um, for the time being. Can I can I say something for for flavor text since I'm Absolutely. about to die? <laughs> yes, please. Uh, because he had previously used that one ability that forces to like relive traumatic moments and everything, and he saw all of his kids dying like in real time again. Uh, he he no. witnesses that uh, and and wakes up just to see. Monty on the floor, passed out, bleeding out, and as in his final moments, he he just says, "No, not again! I won't lose another one." And then he passes out, unconscious. Myrtle, it is the same sort of thing that happened. An imperial uh, caused incident, and you know. As you're in that last moment, you haven't died, you are unconscious and you're fading. But in that last moment before you fully hit the ground, you know, Achilles, something about the name. That bitch. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Um, This bitch killed his children, we're gonna kill him. (laughs) Um, next up are the skeletons, which are actually, I I didn't arrange this poorly because they're all kind of you know, they're actually you no, know, they're gonna be trying to make a group attack against you, McCleary. Um, I'm gonna roll Excellent. 20, I rolled a 15, plus I think it's a plus two, so 17 to hit. That does not hit. Oh, right, because you have the plus the, the insane AC My bonus. Like 21. So I so all th- three skeletons like in 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 like a, a synchronous, you know, slash try to hit you and you like super cool pirate like jump over their blades, maybe onto the blade. Um, you know what? I'm just going to give you a free attack against the skeleton. Oh, nice. All right. 
Because you have like 30 fucking AC here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll be a 20. So, so here, uh, roll damage. Okay. Um. Six. Six? So you, so you jump on their blades, you slice through two of their skulls, uh, and I think, actually, you slice through one of their skulls, the one that you're currently standing on, and as it crumbles into dust, you slice through the other one on the way down. So you have two skeletons uh, who have been destroyed here. Um, awesome. <laughs> Come on, then! And uh, the rest will just kind of position themselves for the next round, or to potentially be uh, sliced. Uh, Monty, I'm yeah. going to make another uh, death saving throw for you. Do it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I need to get my, my camera out so I can, <laughs> if I can record this. Um, okay. Second death saving throw for Monty. Okay. What am I gonna do if he dies? I'm now thinking I'm like, man, I don't really have a good character class. <laughs> Start thinking now. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm doing that. Okay. Um All right. Uh great. Uh you have made your, your death saving throw. Um you're not up, Chart. Um Next in the order is the remaining uh, trick shot. Who's going to fire um, to the one who, uh, one of the people who, who sliced the other one, which was Freya. So Freya, you're going to be struck by, you're, they're going to try to hit you with their crossbow. That's only a 12 to hit. Does that hit? Freya. That's Fran? 14. Uh, my AC is 14, so no, it doesn't. Arrow goes right past you. I dodge and be like, ha, miss me, bitch. No, sorry, I don't actually say that. Uh, you can, that'd be fine. Commit to um, it, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, alrighty. Next in the order is Sunny. Sunny, what do you do? All right, so I have a couple questions first. Mm -hmm. uh, do my morals count at all? Let me, or, let me. So I just have to do what I'm told. Let me um, read. I'll just read the entire description here. Okay. Um, you psionically grasp for control of the mind of one humanoid you can see within range. The mm -hmm. target must succeed on a wisdom save or be charmed by you for the duration. Um, you can use this telepathic link to issue commands to the target, no action required, which they do their best to obey. If the target completes an order and doesn't receive further direction from you, they defend and preserve themselves to the best of their ability. You can use an action to take total and precise control of a charmed target until the end of your next turn. The target takes only the actions you choose. That's, that has not happened here yet. He has just given you a command. Um, each time the target takes damage, they make a new wisdom saving throw. The saving throw succeeds, the charm condition ends. If the target succeeds in their initial saving throw against this power, that you can choose to deal additional damage to them. Um, so the line that's relevant here is you can use this telepathic link to issue commands to the target, no action required, which they do their best to obey. Okay. Okay. Um, and then otherwise, like, I, like commands first and then self-preservation second, yeah? That's correct. Fuck. Okay. Okay. What does Sunny do? <laughs> Sonny, who is clearly not himself at the minute, is going to turn around and he's going to stab Monty. Oh. oh. Of course. Oh, I fucking betrayal. saved your ass when you were drowning. His mind is in his own. His mind is in his prone. own. That's two um, death what, what is your AC? Right? What's your AC? My AC? Uh? What is it? What is, is it? 13. Oh, For fuck's God. sake, Riley. <laughs> That's 15? Oh. Riley, 15. wait a second. You're uh, 13. 1, 3, 13? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to slap the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to see me in Florida and me.
I'm going to slow hands, great. and I'm going to show you what 13 AC um, feels like. Wait, but you're a barbarian. <laughs> Don't you have uh, unarmored I'm defense? I'm a barbarian. I've got that bored shit. Fuck me Aww. up. Y'all, I'm not um, playing a bard again. This wait, which, the, which, did you take, which did you take first, bard or barbarian? Um, I took barbarian first, and then... Half damage well, wouldn't matter in an unconscious state. No, though. it's yeah. not that. Half what? damage is only when she's raging. Riley, yeah. what's your dex modifier and what's your constitution modifier? My dex what? is plus two and constitution is. Yeah. What is it? What? What's your constitution? Plus one. So three. Yeah. Yep. That's. 13. That's why. Yeah. You have shit. I'm sorry. I put plus three on charisma. <laughs> well, oh, no. Um, you had one death saving fail oh, no. and one death saving success. Oh. It's a critical hit because it's at close range and you're unconscious. Yeah. That's two additional death saving fails. Um, Monty, um, I would like you to tell me what your last words are. Oh. Um, Monty can't speak. He just, it, he's cursed. Like he just sort of gargles blood and looks at Sunny probably crying because this is who he considered his first friend. And he passes. Um, question real quick. Mm -hmm. When am I, when pushing myself, when am I allowed to, um, I was thinking the same thing. Use you die when I say so. Um, I believe I wrote it so that it could happen at any point. Oh, no action oh, required. Oh, I thought it was on your action. I was action. waiting on my turn. Yeah. Let me let me read it again. I, I wrote this this dumb shit, so let me, uh, yeah. let me see what <laughs> As I wrote. As a free action on their turn or at the end of any other competitor's turn. Oh. Well, oh I think I'm, I'm Monty even like grabs the knife too, so his hands are as well. I think Sonny's got no recognition behind his dumb little eyes. Yeah. Which Monty would probably recognize that because he knows sunny pretty well so yeah <laughs> so it, it could happen at the end of sunny's turn um but they are no longer an unconscious creature they are now a uh, yeah. a deceased Dead creature, creature. Mm. um <laughs> if self-preservation is next <clears throat> i am also going to use a flourish <gasps> no that's it's not an extra. It's not an extra attack. It's no, no, no. It's technically like, oh, you do extra damage. I don't think it cares about the damage. But defensive right. flourish gives me a bonus to my AC plus okay. one D eight. Sure. So until my next turn, my AC is plus. That has an extra five. Okay. Good luck killing me, assholes. <laughs> Well, that's the end of his turn. That that's the end of his turn. turn. Um, um, can I, I would like to push myself. And which of the abilities would you like to take? I was waiting till my turn, but since we can use it at the end of anyone's turn, if I read that, which I did yes. not, which I was stupid, you die when I say so. <laughs> and I'm using it um, on Myrtle. Riley's dead now. Myrtle. I'm... Oh, Myrtle. Oh, on me. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm Myrtle. Good. Save one. Um. I think this is the first use of this ability, no? Yes. Um, you die when I say so. An unconscious creature of the player's choice within 60 feet awakes with one HP. The unconscious creature may then immediately make one attack. Um, Myrtle, you uh, feel reinvigorated by the first mate of the Limelight Pirates who has shouted at you and you can feel like the it coming through your your ears. You, you're still, you're fading, but you're still there. So you can still grasp onto consciousness just a little bit. And it gives you just enough motivation to like anime fire you up a little bit. It's that scene in like Attack on Titan where Aaron's like pulling himself out of the fucking wreckage, blood spurting everywhere. Um, you push yourself back up. Um, you are not only conscious, but you have this like brief moment of intense um, adrenaline flowing through you. Um, do you want to make an attack? Uh, do I do I see Sunny with a blade plunged into Monty? You do. I'm gonna make an attack on 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 Sunny. It's okay. what it's what he would do. <laughs> We're uh, down together. <laughs> yep. So I'm going to, uh, seeing that he's going to scream, 
out loud, and he's going to charge all of his attack into his into his hammer, and he's going to make a big old big old whopper. Uh, let's see if it hits. Push me off this boat. Push me off this fucking boat. Eighteen to hit. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is your current AC? Uh, Sunny? Shit. Because of that move. <laughs> because of defensive flourish. flourish. <laughs> so damage is nine plus with what I'm going to. I don't I'm... take any damage. What do you mean? My AC is 20. twenty. Oh, okay. Well, um. All right. Push Fair enough. This fucking boat. He's gonna make me kill again. You know what? I. I'm gonna use my inspiration on this. Or what's what's the thing called with the pushing yourself? You wanna uh, switch the muse? Uh, Do you wanna put, I, I, you're at one HP. I don't know if you could push yourself because oh. you would have to give half your HP. Oh, okay, okay. Then that's really can all I can do. Can heal? <laughs> okay. No, not, not, not with that. And those who push yourselves are- And it has to be an attack of, too. Oh yeah. At the end of combat, you will need to make a, a scar roll to see if you incur any long-term penalties for your uh, pushing yourself. Right? Okay. Just keep a note of it somewhere on your sheet. Um, okay, that is Sunny's turn. Um, he is he's not is not yet given you any additional instruction. Um, he's not paying attention really because he doesn't care about you guys. Um, well, he is paying. He's looking at Myrtle, but he doesn't care that much at least for now. Um, okay, next up. Again, let me set what's going on here. Monty has died. Myrtle has just come back up. Um, the remaining uh, uh, folks on the board include the sharpshooter, the bottom left hand side, the skeletons, the twins, um, the airship that y'all want to take over to stop uh, is currently docked with the wizard on it. Um, only Izak has really been injured at this point. Um, here's what I want to do at this point, because we're now about two hours into the game. Let's take a five-minute break. Also, okay. a little bit of an emotional <laughs> emotional recharge here oh, for what's happened. God. And let's get some snacks, go to the restroom, take a little breather, and we will then hop, hop back in and continue where we left off. Um, and we'll see what happens. So five-minute so break, y'all, and then we'll uh, jump back in. All right. All right, I'm Jesus Christ! Party. This is yeah. this has been a rough one. <laughs> Riley, rough. Riley and Bard. Riley, Riley. This is the second time you. This time, like, Ruben's killed me as a bard. At least you this made it to double-digit sessions this time. I did make it to a double-digit <laughs> session. The, can and he anyone? Didn't do it himself. Can anyone cast the thing that preserves the body? <laughs> no. We can get you uh, back. Wait, what, what is that? Pose. Embalming? What were you yeah, talking? gentle, gentle repose. repose. It's a, like a cleric and a paladin can trip. Maybe Canis can. <laughs> we can. We we still have the body. Besides, your dying wish was for us to eat you, right? So. Yeah. That's yeah, true. You want us to waste the meat? <laughs> yeah. Mo it's what Monty would want. <laughs> Tell me if I taste like fish. I'm. A oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna run in the bathroom. I'll be All right. right. I have never been so mad before that bards don't get revivify. Right. I'm like, damn, if we can't bring Monty back, there was so much that he could have lived for. That's the it's... one thing that's getting me is that he he could have had a whole future. And he didn't. But it's that Ruben's not here at the minute. If Sunny dies, I'm making it everybody's problem and I am bringing Amaris in. Oh shit. Who is my evil warlock who in the campaign i'm playing him in has murdered several people <laughs> i don't know who I'll, i mean i've got two ideas and that's what i got i mean if, if i if i die here i have a backup but yeah i won't be happy about it <laughs> i know i'm like how do i do you have I'm like, I got a no I'm a, I'm a half caster so i only have second level Oh, no, I thought that you got third level at five. Fuck. Mm -hmm. No, sadly. I was banking on that shit. Oh Wait, man, Ruben's gonna what? have to pay for new character art. <laughs> 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 so I have no revivify. I'm not even like an official healer, so. 
I, if I was like the second healer, I was like triage. Yeah. Sunny's like the healer, healer. I'm the healer. I'm fucking possessed by Satan himself. Also, I gotta, I gotta share this by McDaster once again, because uh, <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Making my way downtown, falling I'm fast. Falling fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's very good. Is this the first death of this campaign so far? I, the, it's me again. The first death. <laughs> Man, you got a death at least. I'm sorry. Permanent death at least. We I mean, it's been it's five seconds. Time. True. I mean, question. You can make a comeback. Uh, an unconscious person cannot see or hear you, right? <laughs> right. <'cause they're> unconscious. I mean, if you're like, if you're on, in a coma or knocked out, you can still hear sometimes. So. But yeah. They're, just trying to clarify. But they're in a coma, not unconscious. Well, I guess they're unconscious. Unconscious. I'm just, I'm just asking. Why do you ask? Uh, well, because I have a move that gives health if they need to see or hear you. Right, right. And I was going to use it on Riley. And then Isn't that only temporary HP, though? <laughs> it's temp HP, but it's HP. It's like I mean, 10? I couldn't use it if they're if they're dead or True. knocked out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I do want to remind y'all. back on that Bard's going to have Revivify Monty's done. <laughs> yeah. Hold, let me just check something. I don't know if... um. Like, see if there's a loophole. No, no, uh, don't you? You are ha you have a uh, a high level sorcerer with you guys. Oh yeah. So, oh, you know that uh, he's be been casting really nice... every he's been casting every high level spell slot yeah. to to destroy um <laughs> Achilles. Achilles. You know that would be really nice. My but it's not on the... truther ass. It's not on the sorcerer spell list. It looks like. I mean, she's kind yeah. of an animal. Maybe, maybe he'll <laughs> maybe we'll take Betty. <laughs> you no, know, Re Revivify is Paladin Cleric, and it's on the Druid yeah. Expanded spell yeah. list with Tasha's. Push me off of this platform and let me return to the sea and become sea foam. <laughs> sea foam. You're not the little Wait. fucking mermaid. I I base Monty off the little fucking mermaid. We might as <laughs> might as well end it. Why is your AC 13? <laughs> I don't know. Because I, for some stupid reason, I was like, yeah, I'll be a charisma barbarian. Because eventually, I, I'll be able to use, like, um, well, it was for the intimidation, really. Oh, because I yeah. wanted, I have a plus mm -hmm. six in intimidation. Mm. Um, and then later on, it would have held for, like, charm person. Because we, there is a siren bard subclass that Ruben and I downloaded. <laughs> You're gonna have to play as Monty's brother. I guess you can just <laughs> delete that. You can play as Monty's mom. <clears throat> mom. Actually, I was thinking of it. Um, it, guys, it, let's give it a little second here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, 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 I'm really panicking, okay? I'm still possessed this, by Satan himself. Right? I'm kind of this hard. is panic talk. Okay. I mean, now, I'm, now I really have to kill. Like, now you really have yeah. to kill me, see? Yeah. Avenge me. It was me off this I mean, fucking platform, guys. It, it's like the drama is really good that Sonny, his best friend, would kill him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like that's what he would have wanted. Yeah, <laughs> Riley. I mean, think of it this way: you're going to be character development for everyone again. <laughs> exactly. Uh, again, yeah. this again. starts me having main character syndrome. Is every time I die first, and everyone like is like, oh, you know, oh, we're so that sad. Was, that was it bonds our group together. That's where I went wrong with Tip the Balance. I killed Riley kill at the end. Not you killed me at the end. Anybody early enough. See, and that's like, a good beginning she, for it to be good, a good campaign. Okay, uh, I think we're done with our with our five minutes here. Let me resume <laughs> resume the. Uh... Oh, it was Chad. Chad was the first one who died. I was the <laughs> yeah. first one to die. And it was in the most oh, yeah. anticlimactic way possible. <laughs> they ganged him up on me. Okay. <laughs> in the house. <laughs> I died in okay. his front. Step. Okay. Uh, we're back. Um, it is Isak's turn, and he is going to use his movement to jump over back onto the ship. Pussy. Uh, <laughs> oh, I mean, part of the, the whole thing's about to collapse here in a second. Um, that is, and I'm going to have him, yeah, I'm going to have him use his bonus action 
to dash to uh, interior part of the ship where you can help make it <laughs> undock. This was a bad idea for them to get this close. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, at the end of his turn, I'm going to have Achilles um, use his second legendary action of two for the round to go back to the ship as well. Um, <laughs> Because this ship was, as you can now tell, was here to, to get Achilles uh, before all this stuff was <laughs> happened with his lieutenants, because he was the one waiting here. Um, I think he uh, looks at the chaos that he has uh, caused here. And let me just make sure, does Harlequin work? As long as you're on the same plane of existence, yeah. Um, Fuck's sake. He is going to, he, he looks at Myrtle and the, the blood that is coming out of Monty, um, the blade that Sonny has that is dripping with his best friend's um, innards. Um, nice. And he says, um, let this be a reminder. Pirates are insects. He is going to use his action to dash. Salome will get an opportunity attack. Salome is has not really paid full attention to all of y'all because he thought y'all had stuff covered. Um, he's <laughs> only kind of now looking at the situation and is uh, a little bit distracted by the dead people everywhere. Um, and he says, um, "Oh, she was so uh, he he was so nice and fr and friendly. Oh, I gotta you can't." Stop! And is going to um, probably. I'm gonna get an here. That's gonna hit. Where's my? I need some. Suddenly has some. Uh, <laughs> has a lot of stuff. In. Okay, so I think y'all will uh, appreciate this. So, I think what happens here is as Achilles is leaping onto the ship. He gets blasted by yet another uh, <laughs> firebolt, and his body like convulses it midair, and he lands unconscious on the ship uh, with his lieutenant. <laughs> um, that is his move. Where are we here? Okay. Um, hold on. Oh, that's why it doesn't appear there because I put a move into the map layer. I was like, where, where is the ship in the, uh, in the order? Okay. Uh, we passed it, so I will just put mm. it after. Is he, is he like inside like the ship ship or is he on top of it right now? Ooh, hold on, I made him disappear. Uh, oh my God. I never like have giant, here. never have giant, um, there, ships. There, yeah. he's still, he's still on the, on the hull of the ship. Um, okay, uh, and, uh, action that he, the instruction he gives you, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll type it to you again, Sunny. Okay. Oh, shit, I can't. I mean, kind of an honest surprise. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Merle. Uh, all right. Myrtle is going to just push aside, um, Sonny. His eyes are, like, glaring red right now and just bloodlust. Um, he's gonna push him aside and just keep walking, uh, maybe not too far away from him. Uh, just push him aside so I don't get opportunity attack, but he's going to... Say, are you leaving my range? <laughs> nope. <laughs> he's gonna twirl <laughs> around his, uh, staff, uh... Aim it right down towards his mouth and aim it towards uh, Fuckface McGee over there. And mm -hmm. he is going to do a firebolt. Uh, this is a spell attack? This is a spell attack. It's a cantrip. Uh, Lucas is going to Fuck uh, you. counter spell <laughs> with his reaction. Uh, let me make sure I have enough. Yeah, what if I'm his... right over here? Will he still be able to? <laughs> yeah, I think he'll still be able to, actually. Hold up. I'm pretty sure it's it's No, actually, far. it's... it's... Okay, you're five feet out of it. <laughs> if you used to do it there. 
<laughs> You're five feet out of the, uh, the counter spells range if you do it there. Are you? Yeah, because it's 60 feet for the counter spell. Would it, okay, but real talk, would I know that though? Would I be able I to gauge the distance? All right. No. Plus your your bloodlust and your walking, your you're trying to get him, right? Yeah. Um. So the cantrip <sighs> disappears in the air. Um. You do have bonus action and movement though. Uh. All right. Seeing seeing that how that didn't work, he. God damn it! I can't do fucking anything this entire time. Um, get, get, does a shove count as a free action? Uh, sure. I'm gonna shove fucking Sunny off. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> we go together, bitch. Okay, you uh, shove um, Sunny. He's small. It's not difficult to yank, to eat him a foot back. I'm sorry. Did I miss my turn at all? Not yet. No. Not yet. I got really hungry. I'm sorry. All good. Um, okay. Um, so, okay. Anything so, else for... Uh... Wait, so am I falling? Or? Yeah, yes, the fuck you are. Uh, he's going to <laughs> push you over, and he's going to throw uh, that little thing that he, ha that he had and brought with him. Uh, so he is casting Featherfall on you to slow you down, but to get you out of the fight for a little bit. Um, and he's just going to say... While you descend, I want you to think about what you've done. And his eyes are glowing red. So you're you're slowly descending, but you are away from from the rest of the group right now. That's fine. Okay. Um, the ship is now going to begin to get the fuck out of here. Slowly backs up. Uh, let me let me. How do I? Shit. Shit. <clears throat> I don't want to grab. There's way too. There's okay. I I, I sorry guys. I put way too much shit on the map this time. Um, I keep trying to grab the ship, and I get the ship, but I don't get like people on the ship, and I don't want to grab. Uh, fuck me. I, I will just have to move the man. They leave. They were there to get Achilles. Okay. Um, I think at the end of the next of uh, the next turn they'll probably be out of range. No. Um, Freya. up. Yes. Um, <laughs> you have a giant Razim to your right. You okay. have a McCleary who is excited and is slicing through skeletons like um, this. He was born for this shit, and maybe he was. Um, and you see that other sharpshooter bitch who has has been hurt a little bit, but hasn't been actually that, that targeted because he's been kind of sitting over there. Okay, well, guess who's gonna get targeted now? Her? Yeah, her. <laughs> yeah, since there's other bitches left. Go anyway, so my wings are still out. I, okay, how far, how, how, hey, hey, Ruben, hey, Mr. DM man, uh, how, how far can I fly? Uh, whatever your, your movement is. I think it's okay. 60 feet. 30, 30 feet. feet. Yeah, 30, 30 feet? feet. Alright, well, I'm gonna make a big show of it. I'm gonna shoot straight up in the air. Um, like a rocket, and my my wings are. Is it is it sunny outside, Mr. DM Man? Of course it's sunny. sunny. Outside. Okay, so my wings are outspread. They're glittering in the sunlight because I am an iridescent dragon, and I am very shiny and showy. I'm Can gonna I add that it, that you're kind of like appear in front of the sun, casting a shadow yes, on yes. her? I'm gonna and my my two swords are outstretched. I look like the freaking angel Gabriel right now. Um, <laughs> a very cute angel Gabriel. I yeah, but I'm very angry dragon. Um and 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 it's also noticed that my horns are almost um uh translucent in that like somewhat like a um like you would see like a uh like uh, like a gemstone that's like somewhat opaque, but if you hold it up to the light there is a bit of see-throughness. Um so uh my horns uh they're they're somewhat see-through but only in very bright light anyway anyway that's important to note just because it's pretty but anyway it's um, very cool it's very cool yeah it's keep very going. cool keep going this is great oh, um, dying. and i'm so <laughs> i'm so by the sun and frank is having this beautiful moment in the air I'm, i love it I, having a friendship betrayal <laughs> so <laughs> i am oh shoot wait hold on 
Oh no, I don't have enough. Wait. So, so what do you want to do? Didn't you say you were going to go hit this lady over here? Yeah, you Hold said on. you were flying to her. Or are you flying to them? I'm deliberating. Let me let me move over to Razim then. Um, Razim. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, I'll give you time, it's oh, wait. fine. Okay, wait, Raze it's still Razim's turn? No, it's your turn, but I, if okay. you need some time to think, it's, I can let him go first. Okay. I um, wouldn't Razim. be able to reach, uh, I wouldn't be able to reach Sunny, would I? Well, I'm falling now, so. Okay, okay well, fuck She's Sunny. She's like, what, five um, feet under that or something? Right. So, I'm going to swoop down to the archer bitch and mm -hmm. with my kind of like almost a naruto run as i'm flying oh like my just God. my arms back a naruto and, run while you're flying as well a you know how like, instead of like you know how like superman has his arms outstretched when he flies well my mm -hmm. arms are behind me okay um, <laughs> fair enough and so, naruto so i have made my <laughs> sorry i might be very loud i have made my way over and yeah um and i have my uh my sword's out, and I just, I swing at her throat with one, and, uh, let Go me for roll it. for, roll for, uh, what, what do I roll again? Just to uh, hit. attack. So it's the, it'll be on the action and, and attack section okay. of your thing. And you don't, you don't get sneak okay. attack because there's no... That's fine, no. I don't care. I'm not there to be sneaky. Um, okay, 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 okay. Uh, attack. Uh... Oh, oh, okay, seven. okay, okay. Plus seven. I got a 17. That hits. Roll damage. Okay. 1d... <clears throat> I got a s five. five. Five damage. points of damage. Okay. Um, and with my second weapon... or Do I do 2d... Well, um, you, 2D it's six? a bonus action to, to begin flying. Oh, okay. But you are now close enough. But I'm dual wielding. But it's a bonus yeah. action to attack. To use it yeah. offhand. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Then. Cool. Yeah. So I um, five damage. I guess. Five damage is noted. She is uh, looking pretty rough. Probably one more hit's gonna do her in. Yeah. Well, um, I plan on ending her. All right. Uh, next on the order is Razim. Kane is on deck. Razim. Okay. Looking at the position of everything, um, and just what happened to to Monty. Uh, how long are you big, by the way? Uh, a minute. Oh, it says a minute. Okay, okay. I was like, are you, st so <laughs> you stuck like this? Yeah. Um, so that's where the boat is, right? Currently, and in, in, as it's leaving, right? That's correct. And are you positive that this man is unconscious? <laughs> what do you mean, am I positive? Yeah, I know. He's unconscious. I know. I know what the reality is. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Make a perception check. <laughs> am, uh -oh, am I positive? No, I uh -oh. might be wrong. Okay. I might, I might, you should walk I over just... in this area. I'm sure nothing bad will happen <laughs> if you walk over here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I got a 16 perception, FYI. 16, 16 perception, <laughs> and you can see pretty far because you're now giant. Um, it, lo <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like they're, they're tending to him um, on the ship, so you're not sure what that really means. I'm not sure what, how his ability works either. Um, but he did appear to, uh, no longer be conscious in the middle of the air while he got blasted by Salome's firebolt. Salome has, like, been just beating him like a pinata this entire fight. Um, okay. uh, w while y'all have taken a serious blow here, I do, w I just do want to stress that the, 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 the sheer power output that you've seen from this little gremlin boy and his ferret has been considerable. Uh, I think the ferret, the Mermel, has done... Maybe more damage. No, not not as much damage to Izak, but it's been it's kind of considerable with all, all that scratching. Anyway, um, Razim, um, action, bonus action, movement. Got you. Um, the the clock you have here for um for this section of the uh, of the arena. I mean, uh, the 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 battleground falling off like this mm -hmm. half of it. When does that That's tick right. again? That ticks if anything disturbs that space at all. Guys, I'm going to try to get revenge for Monty. <laughs> Go get him. What you feel Razim would do. 
This is what your conscience is telling you. That is now gone. I'm gotcha. just gone. I am going to cast my last uh, vortex warp. Oh. 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 <laughs> nice. over here. And I as I this. and as I do it, I say, "Here's a lesson from me." Save your fucking counter spells. And I teleport him right next to um right here. Where? Right here. Next to Salome? Yes. Yeah. Unconscious. Right next to Salome. He doesn't have a counter spell because nope. he counter spelled Myrtle's cantrip. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's on the platform, and you said one more of disruption makes the whole thing fall. <laughs> <laughs> and as uh, I say, <laughs> Razim, do you have a point of inspiration yet? No. So please, please take one. That's, yes. I, that's, that's so, badass. It's big so brain good. mode. It's so good. And, big, uh, big, 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 big Razim mode. Big <laughs> Razim mode. Yeah, one of the best moves you have ever made. And I'm going to assume that requires uh, wild magic. Oh, we had oh fucking boy. That, could, wild that magic. could ruin everything. Oh god. Okay, roll, roll another. Okay, I roll. It That's badass. That is those. fucking you're badass. Good. You're good. Um, we need a so, thread. Can we make a quotes thread uh, in the? Uh, I, I made one, but then no one, no one posted in it. Um, there is no quotes thread. We don't okay. see okay. it. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. I made one and I know one. Come on. Because he, because he said some shit when he was the deep even thinking he had once some shit. Okay. Oh, I see it. There it is. Boom. Okay. There you go. Put it in there. Um, so here, that's <laughs> Jade is so good. It's so cinematic. Uh, and it's like a teleport, right? Yeah, it's um, basically a forced teleport. If, if he can't respond to it, I'm assuming he's unconscious, so he can't respond to it. What would the Although, save be? It would be a constitution um, saving throw. He he isn't, un no, he's no longer unconscious. He is close. Let me. Oh, he is um, not unconscious. Okay. He, I'm gonna roll this publicly. He has a plus four in con save, so I'll roll this in the uh, chat here. I probably <laughs> fail. Yes, right? it fails. Yes, it fails. It yeah, fails. we should let Takai take care of. The oh wait, it's gonna fall though. Shit. You oh, you you see. Remember uh, last turn. You're I flying. Stepped, I stepped off the uh, dock. <laughs> Oh shit! You're right. Yeah, you <laughs> oh hey, we're both falling at a terminal velocity. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people who are falling at the moment, um, and there will be more in a second. Um, wait, 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 wait! Dikai, are you planning that? Oh yeah, I stepped <laughs> off so that next turn I could uh, cast fly. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh, I see. This is okay. So let me let let's resolve this one bit at a time here. This is uh, okay. <laughs> so what, did you uh, think I just stepped off of the dock for the hell? No, of it? I don't you, know. You guys are sometimes so dumb. I don't. I can't. <laughs> I can't imagine you guys being smart sometimes and, and thinking I, through things. Um, can I yell at Salome? Well, he's like I, I just popped him right next to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what, what do you want to say when this happens? Kick his ass. <laughs> Uh, Salome turns to you behind and is a little bit confused, then turns back because he was looking at everyone and all the chaos that, that has unfolded. He then turns right back in front of him, sees the appeared uh, very weak and in pain Achilles. And you all you see from your perspective is Mermel jump onto his face as the entire front half of the station cracks from the added weight and begins to tilt forward until it is uh, uh, entirely fallen off the main station, and it is beginning to fall, descend into the sea hundreds of feet below. So the effect of this is that both Salome, Mermel, and Achilles are now basically uh, falling. Um, and everything... I still see Achilles as a fucking ally, don't I? Yes, until God you take damage. Damn it. <laughs> I cast Feather Fall on Achilles. Fuck. <laughs> do you have range for that? It's 60 feet. Okay. Um, uh, as your fault? I assume you do. 
I haven't fallen that far. This is all. Wait, right, until you take damage, time. but didn't. Oh, Myrtle pushed you. He didn't hurt Myrtle you. Myrtle pushed yeah. me. He couldn't right. hit my AC. That's right. Achilles right. Is... I see this happen. I'm like, no! Man, there's so much happening in this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I need to write this down. I don't forget Achilles. Well, sorry, guys. I guess I'm joining the Navy now. In the yeah. Navy. Uh, so uh, deal with that idiot! <laughs> Salome is falling faster than, than uh, Achilles is. Uh, Lucas and Isaac are really don't have any. They're freaked out. Uh, God, there's so there's still so much going on. Okay, anything else, Razine? Uh, I'm just shocked that he's falling slower, and I look to this, I look and see that a spell has been cast, and I'm like, oh, damn it, man. There's gonna we're, there's gonna have to be conversations after this. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Can any um, conversations with me happen next week? Because I can't. Uh, uh, can't. I. Do I have a bonus Canis. action? I do have a bonus action, do I? Or are you not here next week, uh, Corey? No, but I've got no voice today. So yeah. Oh, okay. If anybody needs to harass Sonny, can it happen next week? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah, we're. Well, I mean, by the time we're done here, it's probably going to yeah. be time to close out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Canis. You going to use your bonus action, Razim? Uh, I don't think I can use a bonus action to like throw, like, throw my boomerang. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I don't okay. Think so. <laughs> Okay. You throw it in frustration on the floor. God I was gonna, throw, I was gonna throw it at your freaking noggin is what I was gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can't see me, I'm under the platform. So, uh, Canis kind of looks at the ship, um, and looks back at his crew, and he has an expression on his face that almost is like, I, and then he looks at the skeletons, and he's like, I, I, I don't know exactly what to do. And then, he suddenly resolves himself. And he's like, My crew. <laughs> and starts running across these uh little bridges here uh and he as he gets here he cocks back his pistol and the uh his magic weapon kind of gets sucked back into his pistol and uh he goes towards well he can get to about here he goes towards uh mccleary and uh he raises his pistol to the sky and shoots it again and he just a primal masculine war cry uh that is oddly unaccented and this <laughs> oddly m- this immensely bright light just emanates from him he almost turns into this like ball of energy and i'm going to channel divinity turn undead uh on every single one of these skeletons as he just screams <laughs> screams into the clouds above a massive wave of energy. These are minions. They are weak skeletons to begin with. I'm not even going to have them make a saving throw to this. You just see this massive wave of white divine energy radiate from this blast, from the just the the, the, the sheer willpower that Canis is exerting here. And I think, McClear, you even feel it as the wave kind of pushes through you. You are almost about to slice through the skeletons in front of you. And instead, as you slice the 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 sword kind of uh hits just dust in the air little sprinkles of uh former skeleton fragments as all of them are in one instant destroyed and for my bonus action the scream ramps up in intensity as this like pill he becomes this pillar of light behind everybody and the bonus action mass healing word to mccleary uh myrtle monty uh, Sunny and Razim. Uh, and it's just like, you, 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 you hear the energy coming off of him at this point. And afterwards he collapses into the fountain. Um, and that is, uh, 1d4 plus 3 to all of you, so let's... Nice. I don't think any amount of healing is gonna help Monty. Yeah. Six. Healing to everybody. Thank Six. you. Okay. Actually, uh, Freya too. Freya, Freya gets two. No. What's that? what? Are you within sixty feet of me? Uh, let's well, see. Let's see. <coughs> yes. Well, yeah, but yes. he's also dead. No, it doesn't count on Monty if that's what you asked. Right? Yeah. Right. Oh, yes. oh, 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 okay. No, <laughs> unfortunately. He's gone. The soul well, put, left. Let well, me put an X on your. Uh, yeah. Uh, put that X there. Put yourself upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. That, that, that's what I do, do with, uh... <laughs> Flip them upside down. Here we go. There like a go. fish who's, uh... 
passed away in the, uh, in the I'm flo I floated up to the top of the water. <laughs> up to the, to uh, the great bowl of life. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Achilles. He was falling um, in the air and is now a little bit above uh, Salome. Um, what is he going to do to Salome while they're falling? Or what is he going to do to everyone else? <laughs> um, he's going to let me go because he loves me so much. He's going to use... Um, do I have it? He's going to use not in the face. Which is a one-off <laughs> ability that he has for his class, for his like a uh, subclass. I'll, re I'll read this to you because I just like this a lot. Um, your te uh, telepathy powers make your foes have overwhelming sympathy for you. When a creature fails a saving throw against one of your uh, telepathy, telepathy powers, you can flood the target with conflicting emotions about you. An affected creature can't attack you until the start of your next turn. Creatures that can't be charmed are immune to this effect. Um, actually, are half elves immune to this effect? No, just half elves just half elves and elves just have advantage on charm. Rules. Advantage. Uh, no, he's not going to do it. He he would know that because he's, you know. Ah uh, no! I'll, 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 I said it. I'll, I'll, I'll make him. I'll make Salome How roll for it. How desperate is he? Um, yeah, he's he's pretty roughed up. Um, Salome needs to make a wisdom save, which he's not <laughs> with advantage. Oh, poor dumb little boy. Um, I will roll this twice. Seventeen the the DC fails both times. So Salome, who is falling, who has been blasting him this whole time suddenly feels conflicting emotions about uh, Achilles. <laughs> um, I will say Marmel does not. Marmel is not <laughs> is not the target of this. Marmel is still scratching at his face um, <laughs> as this is happening. Nice. <laughs> um, <Marmel>. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there's so much going on. There is. Uh, <laughs> top of the round, McCleary. I kind of want to <laughs> resolve some of these things here. Uh, the skeletons are now gone. The only uh, uh, antagonist on the board that isn't falling at the moment uh, <laughs> is the sharpshooter that is one attack probably from being killed in front of Freya. Um, what do you do? He, uh, I think as Canis does like his turn undead and the skeletons just kind of disintegrate before him, he kind of turns back to uh, where Myrtle and, and Sonny and all that other stuff was, because he's trying to watch it out of the corner of his eye while he was fighting them, and and he uh, he just steps down and he says, "What the hell is going on over here?" And then he uh, he sees Monty's corpse and he just uh, he says, "Oh, oh no, lad," and he kind of just uh, he kind of just stands there and just uh, takes it in, uh, and that'll be my turn. Myrtle just looks over to him really quickly and breathes a little bit of flares through his nose and just says one word. It was sunny. That's three words, but whatever. <laughs> three words. <laughs> he, it's not uh, about the count is the message it sends. He sort of grimaces in like understanding what we gotta do to Sonny. Because <laughs> 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 obviously he doesn't know that you've been charged. And you thought I was the turncoat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um okay. Anything else for your turn? Um McCleary? Um he he fumbles to put his weapons away as my free action. Okay. And uh um, yeah. Salome uh who has now conflicting feelings about Achilles um grabs Mermel um from him. Uh and it doesn't, it's not like he's fully uh, under his control. It's just that he's not so hot about attacking him for a brief moment here. He will use his action to uh, swoop in with his incredible speed that he has as, as his, with his fire feet, basically. Um, and he's going to, he will use his, his action and his bonus action to grab everyone who is falling in rapid succession. He's dumb. So he does not know your plans, Takai. Um, and if he did, he probably wouldn't let you do it anyway. So he's going to grab. Uh, it's like it's kind of like a laser, like a like a like a quick. Uh, what's the what's the term I'm looking for? Um, laser guided missile sort of thing. He's just, he's going to bounce around uh, the battlefield, grabbing Takai under one arm and Sunny under the other, 
and it's going to bring them both over here back on the platform. Uh, and he looks at the two of you, um, not knowing anything besides that the, his his new crew has been roughed up pretty badly. And he, for all that uh, he's done, he actually doesn't look all that roughed up himself. I think Sal may, is maybe taking like only one or two hits. Um, so like a little bit of hair is kind of out of the out of order, um, a little bit of sweat, but he's still smiling, his dumb smile, um, and um, looks at the, looks at the two of you and says, um, uh, "So are you guys okay? Uh, I told you all to handle the small fry, but I I didn't expect it to be that difficult. I mean, I guess uh, I got to get you y'all through some training or something." Um, Takai, it is ironically your turn. Uh, Takai is just going to say, I was going to cast fly, you dumbass! Oh, what the fuck ever. And he is just going to, uh, run over here so he can get sight on Achilles. That is no longer... Gone. Oh, that's yeah. right. Anything past the red <laughs> You're about to ca cast fly anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's well... True. This, you can just jump off in the fly. end, this ends up kind of helping me because it means I don't have to waste my action uh, casting fly. Uh, he's just going to stare down at where Achilles is falling, point a finger at say, Hey, asshole, we're the Limelight Pirates. We don't run from anything. And I'm just going to shoot a couple more Eldritch Blasts into the <laughs> Yeah. Fire. What's the range? Uh, range is 120. Yeah. The Eldritch Blast is like uh, the end of the earth. Sniping. Um, okay. If I have to fucking jump off this thing again to get off a couple more shots on this guy, I will. Oh, he's falling very slowly, because I cast Feather Fall on him. What kind of damage is this? Uh, force. Okay, he's going to use Capture Energy. Reaction. Well, let me... You capture some of the harmful energy meant for you on a telekinetic grip. You take only half the damage, and you can hurl the Capture Energy out of a creature or object within range by making a ranged power attack. If you tell kids, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't think that 14 hits. <laughs> 14 does not hit. AC is, I believe, uh, 15. Uh, yes, it is. All right, so that's going to be 15 force damage and three necrotic damage from the hex. Oh, the first one hits. Mm. 18. Okay, cool. Good to know. And that is gonna be it. He's just gonna okay. kind of, he's just gonna kind of stare down at Achilles, just murder in his eyes. Okay. Um, next is Lucas, who is going to um cry, shit himself. <laughs> <laughs> shit himself and cry. Shit himself while crying. <laughs> I I don't know if he has anything. That, that he, um... Is he wearing his brown pants today or his yellow pants? <laughs> I know I was. <laughs> <laughs> what is what does this one do? <laughs> the, the description on this spell. Um. I don't think it does what I what I wanted to do. Um, um <laughs> uh, and, He's 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 going to he's gonna cast he's gonna cast a gust of wind. <laughs> he's gonna cast gust of wind to to push <laughs> to push Achilles closer to the ship so that I can grab him. <laughs> I was trying to find something they, they can't misty step there because then they're gonna be in the middle of the air. Uh, so he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna blow air really really hard. And it's gonna get him over to the ship. I mean, um, it's it's not it's not huge on dignity, so no, it's actually kind of humiliating if you think about it. Well, um, Achilles took damage, didn't he? He did. 
want to you want to roll that check to see if I still need to do. Things. Oh shit, shit, shit! Yes, uh, that is uh, 18 damage. So he needs to take uh, 10. Yeah. I'll roll this in the chat. Um, and he has a plus four Constitution saving. So you, you let's see, 10 plus four. Salome may have just fucked up. Uh oh! He fails the con check. Well, so you the... rolled a D10. Oh. I did. <laughs> right? Oh, for fuck's sake, Rupert. <laughs> Tell me some slack. It's been a long session. Uh, he does save. He, he does uh, pass the con check. You're still under his under his Harlequin. Um, Monty's dead. Um, yeah, thank yeah. you for reminding us. <laughs> yeah, wow. call me Pinocchio because I'm a fucking puppet. Let's remove you from me. Yeah, okay. Uh, she she knows that she this is not good. She can't. Um, she's gonna try to jump. <laughs> Freya, um, do you, you have I... an opportunity attack if you want to kill her while she's trying to jump. I am going to, as she tries to jump. I have a plus four in strength, so I feel like I'd be I'd be able to do this before she uh, even think or before she can jump. I I grab her by. Uh, her hair and I kind of hold her there. I'm, I'm still flying, aren't I? Yes. I'm still flying like I'm over there. I grab her by her hair and I just <laughs> oh god I grab her by her hair and I kind of pull her out above the open air and then with my short sword I slice her hair and she falls from my grasp. <laughs> I love it. That's that's so good. I was gonna say that that happens, um, because I I she's already trying to jump anyway, so it, you don't have to. I know. I just wanted anything. it to be my right on your you terms. Want to take credit for it. Uh, yeah, a high pitched scream as she falls from uh the platform. I just hopefully spit. into what she would hope is a soft landing. Um, we'll see if her naval friends uh, protect her. Um, we are almost done, I think, with this particular bout of combat. Almost. Sunny, you are there. Are, uh, yeah, Sunny, you're up. Yep. Okay, let me do some measuring. Do what Sunny <laughs> would do. Well, that's not what Sunny wants to do. Do what mind controlled <laughs> Sunny would do. <laughs> well, some damn fool put Sunny back on the platform. So, Sonny's got an order he's got to follow. Oh, shit! Which is... This little fucker. Which is... Kill the turtle. Do it, bitch. Do it. I fucking dare you. Oh, my God. Hold on a second. Uh, Let me see. Hey, Nate, let's play Korn Amaric again. I can do nothing. It's okay. So, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm going to attack Myrtle. Oh my god, uh, why do we all have to be so fucking cinematic with this show? It's not, it's not, it's not on our choice. Uh, <laughs> 22. Uh, it's okay, because I'm going to use my reaction. He's going to turn around, and the glass shards on his back that has been his patchwork aren't going to turn spiky, and he's casting shield on himself, which is going to give him a... 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Oh no, I don't hit this. I and just it mean doesn't in general. matter. <laughs> I just mean in general. I'm now reading my character. <laughs> oh, God, oh. <laughs> so what you're saying is you could have Scott, killed Monty even more. Fucking... Yeah, <laughs> killed him even I... harder. <laughs> because I only wield one weapon, I get plus two to my damage. Oh yeah, with the, oh right, um, yeah, single weapon move. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that doesn't hit. So let's see. What else can I do? Nothing. That's that's it. That's me done. You can pray for mercy. <laughs> my AC is <laughs> back to normal now as well. Okay. Anything else, Sunny? Um. You know, 
self-preservation. I'll use my final first level spell slot to use healing word on myself. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Izak, who who was hasted and hasn't done anything, uh, is now what? He's now stunned, right? Because he um, do you do you have to hit if you're hasted? No, that's the rage. Yeah. Oh, but no, he does have to hit if he's right. Yeah, he is stunned. Okay. Uh, he's he's locked down. Uh, Myrtle. Question. What'd you do? So it, you it, said it, that Fuckface it, McGee is falling, right? Not anymore. No, no. He he. Oh, a gust of wind pushed him onto the ship. Uh, let me check something really fast. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> it's within my range. Uh, I'm going to cast a uh, firebolt. We just hate this man. <laughs> yeah, um, he's like the team rival. <laughs> I <laughs> think Takai's rival, right? When, was, when did he use counterspell previously? Fuck! I mean, that's out of the range of counterspell anyways. No, it doesn't it? matter. It doesn't matter. I don't hit. It's an 11. Oh, right. Fair oh, enough. Okay, okay, okay. He, he's just bloodthirsty right now. It seems like... No, no, fair enough. At, at any point, like, he could snap, pun intended, on anyone. Yeah. This turtle yeah. about to snap. This turtle about to snap. Uh, and that was actually the last opportunity. I did nothing this entire session. <laughs> but, but hey, at least I'm not the only one, right, Monty? <laughs> um, <laughs> I did something. We are on. the only the only addition the only current threat I suppose on the board is the is Sunny, um, who has not had a <laughs> hit yet to get rid of the um, ability the 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 Harlequin effect. Do we share we tell that threat. he's under any sort of effect? I'm sorry. Is there is it? Can we tell that he's under any sort of effect? Um, he looks the same, but he did strike at at Myrtle. Which I, I think and is he did fairly kill Monty. To kill Monty, fairly fairly uncharacteristic. Of I him. mean, I don't know this boy that well. Um, he's going to change <laughs> his. Um, you know him well enough that he doesn't want to kill people. He's going to we change. We have that conversation, well. Chad. That's true. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna. Hang on, I had... There we go. That's the new instruction. Hang on. I rolled healing and then my computer shitted itself, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no worries. Okay. But who drew that for you, Freya? That's I amazing. Did. I'm just really bad at actual drawing. I don't know how to draw Wait, fabric. Wait, you drew this? Yeah. That, that's You're amazing, that's right? Bad? That's not bad. Yeah, that's that's fucking Holy good. shit, I'm gonna show it on stream. Stop, 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 stop. It's good. No, may, I, may I please yeah, show it for you? Show a stream. Okay. You can show a stream. I Very just, I, I, used, I used a model, like a, um, a 3D model maker thing where I can like pose things. Ah, uh, okay. And I used Even that, so. And then yeah, that works. All artists use all stuff All artists like use that. references. Yeah. I'm just bad this is at great. Doing fabric, and I, I don't. It'll probably. That looks never amazing, great. Right? You're, you're fine. It looks amazing. Oh, thank you. I'm imagining this angel of this dragon angel of death. Uh, That's what I was going for. It's so good. It's great. It's great. <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, uh, oh, actually, speak speak of the devil, uh, Freya. You know, yes. uh, I guess we'll we'll keep going until well. I think we're now out of initiative, and let's just see what happens in the aftermath conversationally. All okay. we have, we're kind of near the end of our usual time, but I, I feel like people are gonna go fucking insane if we don't have like a little bit of yeah, some some like we need closure. Closure. Um, so yeah, we are now out of initiative order. The ship, the large mother ship, the airship that y'all were trying to get um, and stop from leaving, um, has left. All right. Um, really, really quick question, just for the role play side of it, not to actually like do damage, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. You do hold weapons, right, uh, Sunny? Yeah, I have a rapier. Heat metal, so that it forces you to drop Ooh. it. Yeah, I drop it. I'm not. <laughs> uh, you do take two d eight damage, just 
for the roleplay side of it, we're going to heal this up anyway, but 10, 10 fire damage. Keep the hands burned as a reminder. <laughs> Hey, remember how I said earlier I didn't like that I was between the Barbarian and Achilles? Can we go back to that? Because this is worse. <laughs> this is way worse. So Salome, like three um... Three disappointed dads. Um, do you have to make a... When you take damage, do you have to make a save or something? Uh, let I me do. double check. You do. Check. Yes, it is a constitution... Wait, no. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. No, 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 this is the... the save the for the, 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 the effect. Yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. DC 17. No. Okay. I don't, I don't think I can add anything to that to help me. Uh, I, um. Go ahead. Can I, uh. I have 50 feet of rope. <laughs> I would, I would like to try and, and tie up Sonny's arms. If he resists me, I say to him, I, I say to the, sort of the group assessing it after Myrtle uh, makes him drop his weapon. I think the lad be bewitched. He killed his best friend. I don't think he would do that on purpose. You, you did this, Sonny. You Give. did this. Give me your hands, boy. I'm tying you up for safety. I say to Sonny, <laughs> <laughs> assuming that he's not going to resist. Uh, do you? Do you? Mm -hmm. Let me, I'm gonna roll for it. <laughs> okay. I mean, he brings uh, like yes, a handful of grapes, so. I don't think that he voluntarily does. Then I make a, uh, uh, both of you make a strength check. Oh, okay. fuck's sake. My strength is bad too. <laughs> <laughs> Not as bad as mine. <laughs> oh. Well, <laughs> the lad's got supernatural strength. <laughs> <laughs> He's out doing me old bones. I got. I had water in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So Freya has not seen any of this because she's been so focused on the archer. So when she comes over, she sees. She sees what's happening. She sees Monty's body and she sees Sonny struggling. And she just. Wait. Wait, what's. 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 What's going on? What happened to Monty? Why. What's wrong with Sonny? We have ourselves a Wayne Wild. Someone that turned their back on us just for the sake of someone else. You mean Sonny? Can you hear us, lad? I'm not deaf. Why'd you kill him? Just, you know, just blinded in the heat of battle. We were all falling. I punch you in the face. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> you punch the child. Or I'll try to punch you, I guess. Yeah, that does it. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I need to roll some sort of damage for that? Sure. One d four. One d four is unarmed damage. <laughs> Safe. Why? I <laughs> <laughs> I think at this I point, was a three. at this point, Myrtle has grabbed the fallen corpse of of Monty and is just cradling Monty. Yeah, and he's me. he's he's crying a bit, and he slowly picks her up and starts moving towards the captain. I am a boy. Um, <clears throat> Salome um, jumps over, assesses the situation, and frowns, seeing uh, how everyone's been kind of roughed up. And um, he looks at Monty, and um, you can see uh, he's kind of taken aback by the situation. Um, and uh, Mermel kind of uh, jumps from his shoulder and like nuzzles the um, the cold body, and uh, he he frowns, and then he says, um, "Well, I guess this uh, was much tougher for you guys than I expected. I'm really sorry if." Um, 
I got you guys into a bad situation here. Um, a bad they... situation? I mean, the the ship is gone, and some of this, uh, the smaller ones are probably not going to fit us all, and they're going to hurt. You said we were your crew, correct? I mean, I, I, I'm not sure you, you didn't guys didn't protect us like you were supposed to. That's not really fair. Hey, he's Captain right, Captain was supposed to protect their crew, right? What was he supposed to do to protect us, Freya? Do you not understand what this is? We're no, pirates! No, I don't understand! We're pirates! I'm trying it gets to. dangerous out here! Salome, one this day... This isn't the game you think it's gonna be! Myrtle just says under his breath and looks at him as if he's seeing a mirror of one of his grandkids in a weird way. And he just says under his breath and sighs, One day, you're going to have to plan things. Right now, you're just going to either get yourself killed or those you care about. He's very, very taken aback by that. Um, uh, up to this point, he's he's been very bubbly and eccentric and over the top. Um, and he's even still kind of has some of that energy coming into this conversation. But something about the fact that Myrtle just speaks with this um, older wisdom um, has such a effect on him. Um, and he he says, uh, I, "You guys, I, there. Don't don't be too sad here. There's there's there there are ways we can we can we can fix this. All right." Can you bring him back? Um, I can't, um, but I, I think I might know a few different options for how we can. And what about Sonny? He's bewitched, I tell you. Anything uh, you can do for him? Um, he walks over to uh, to Sonny, uh, puts his hand in front of his face, and you and Sonny, you feel uh, the heat kind of crackling from his hand as if there's like a a fucking stove, uh, an, oh. an open oven. Um, <laughs> So, um, I think you probably want to listen to them and, um, not be, you know, uh, annoying. Uh, that'd be great. This child just murdered a fish man and he's telling me not to be annoying. <laughs> all right, all right, annoying. Right. Do we know that he's, that Sonny has been affected by some spell? I'm Is assuming we can deduce. Make, uh, make an arcana check. Okay. I'll or, do an arcana. Or, or I'll, I'll have to make an arcana check. Oh man, an insight check. All right, I'll oh, do that. Oh, okay, I'll do that too. Yeah. Can I still do arcana? Yeah. Well, when, for those who okay, um, twenty. Twenty. Mm -hmm. I, got, I, got a, I got a. I got a nineteen. I got a nineteen insight check. Yes. Roll um roll it uh with your physical dice, Corey, and let me know what the result is on the side. So um, I know that I he's a, affected by magic. Wait, I got a nineteen insight check. Hold yep. on, guys. Not Hold on, guys. Sorry, I'm really excited. <laughs> find some dice. I actually don't get dice out anymore. <laughs> oh, hey. Um, it's the dice that Riley gave me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, so what stat am I rolling? Insight. Uh, well, for you, on deception. No. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, he's acting uh very grumpy, you know, more so than usual. Um, but is it, you you don't get any sense of any sort of magical effect on him. He's acting right now more or less normally. Same personality. His eyes don't don't look different. There's no runes on him or anything. Um, maybe it's a bit weird how how little he's reacting to the situation, but otherwise he seems to be fairly normal. That's what I get. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, then I put my hand on his shoulder and I cast Zone of Truth. Okay. Um, I think he met, has to make a Wisdom save. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Corey. Uh, yeah, I'm just debating whether or not I let D and D Beyond deal with this because my wisdom saves have been below five all day. Ooh. 
Nat 20. Watch this be the first time. I yeah. swear to God. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you bad. Well, okay. so um, we don't believe, so we don't so believe wait. he's magically affected. Then. Wait. Oh, no, I have another idea. I have another idea. Wait, 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 wait. I still have an insight check of 19. No, he it's still yeah, the same. Like it's still oh, the same. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I have oh, one more okay. thing. I have one more thing I can do. Mm -hmm. In the same breath as this, like, you know, silvery uh, <clears throat> wisp kind of uh, appears on Sunny in, like, the shower and then fades away as nothing happens. Um, I keep my hand on his shoulder and I kind of give it a little push and I say, tell us! And I cast command. I think it's another wisdom or a charisma yeah, save? Yeah, that's a wisdom save. Uh, uh, Zone of Truth was charisma. This one's a wisdom save. Zone of Truth was charisma? Yeah. Oh. Well, that would have been a lot better than a fucking 17 then. Well, okay, still pass. Whatever. <laughs> Five. Okay, that's a failure. Looks like you gotta yeah. tell us. Now, do I have to tell you the truth or do I All just right. have it, to tell it, you something? Here, here is what it says. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> a one word command to a creature you can see within range. I said, tell us if you want to, you know, rip that apart. You can, but um, the target must succeed on a wisdom save or the or or follow the command on its next turn. You have to tell us. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I did. Oh, okay. God, I don't know how to go about the this. The fitting music, though. These are two conflicting things. Fuck. We don't want to kill you, but we will. Sunny. <laughs> what? No, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm dead. We're, we're gonna. I will Spartan kick your ass off this fucking skyport. <laughs> before, <laughs> be before Sunny answers. I think this is a great spot for us to pause it. Oh, for, for next week. No, it's uh, not. We'll, we'll get Sonny's answer next week and the continuation of oh, the aftermath God. of this. Razim is still big for a little bit longer. Ty <laughs> uh, oh, really stares at the <laughs> Elise, uh, who is departing the sky. Uh, Monty is gone. Um, what a session wow, tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. I didn't think it would end like this. I really <laughs> thought I was going to pull through. Uh, <laughs> I had a lot of cool hey. moments, though. This whole thing was This really was a great, great, yes. It was a great session. Um, we will be back next week, same time, uh, Wednesday. Uh, what would that be, the 19th? I think uh, so. yeah. Um, yeah, see what happens. Uh, episode 12 of Pirate Trouble. Thank you all so much Who for joining us. Uh, who can say what's going to happen? Uh, let's say good night, everyone. Good night, good night everyone. Good morning. I'm gonna cry. Uh...